get it. Welcome back to Vianality 2017. We are now in the top eight. I got my Ricola ready. We're ready to go. My voice is just shredded after such an incredible event so far. You're fine. You'll be good to go as we check in on the Injustice Pro Series. All the inquiring minds want to know what's going on. Yes. As we talked about Foxy earlier, just by making ninth, which he's in the top eight, has already transcended uh, Star Charger, pushing him right out. And Star Charger will be uh -oh. at Summer Jam, so the performances are getting increasingly more important. Yes. One win takes Foxy from 17th, where he started today, to 13th. Damn, that's, so, a, that's a pretty significant jump. And that's just Foxy alone. He's still fighting with points behind Biohazard and Forever King, who are in front of him, but yep. also still in the in tournament. The top, yeah, so, they're still in the top eight as well. Yeah, many very much alive. A guy who, if he could put it together and win this event, gets 250 and jumps in there. Dude, that's two people out. Yeah, you want to talk about a leap. That is a leap of faith. So there's so much on the line here, and the implications are extremely high. It's not just seventh to fifth place anymore. It's... It's not even about just one tournament anymore. No, it's not, not just slightest. about Vianality and, oh, like, cool, I won Vianality. It's like, no, cool, I won Vianality. I got, you know, the respect of everyone. But also, hey, guess what? I just got 250 points. What's up? And I'm potentially going to the finals and then potentially after that even going to E-League. So, boom. How about that? Yeah, where 250,000 is on the line, which is separate from the pot. From the pot the that's going to happen at the IPS final. finals. Yeah. So, yeah, man. I mean, just there's these are uh, kind of important. These are different times. Just a, a little bit back more when than you and I used to compete. <laughs> As we look at the bracket right here in front, the American flag unnecessary as it represents everyone in the top four. On the winner's side of it, Sonic Fox and Theo, the team kill. The inevitable, you get deep enough, you're going to run into your guys. Yep. And Dragon against White Boy, Yamini, and Losers up against a Foxy, Foxy Grandpa. Grandpa. And the lone American in Losers Forever King going up against the Canadian captain himself, Biohazard, trying to repeat the performance of what was once the same household as we saw his brother Honeybee take yes. second at Evo at the last event. That is a very talented household. <laughs> yes. Can I move there? Honeybee's leaving. Take me in. That's actually kind of been the story, right? It's almost like the, the DJT MIT combo. When Bio or Honey, when either one of them isn't at a major, the other one tends to kind of carry the family forward. Just, just the hold bracket. it down, yeah. you know, hold it down. All right, so Fox versus Theo. Fox actually uh, on the way to the uh, take a break. He said he's probably going to play Colt against Theo first. Captain Cold is the character that Sonic's used the most in this tournament yeah. so far. He about. said he thinks this matchup, Cold Superman, is 5-5. Five five. Well, Sonic... I'm quoting. I am not throwing numbers out. I'm quoting no, Sonic No, absolutely. Fox. I wasn't going to put that on you. The thing is, Sonic Fox has had some extremely um, special Interesting. opinions yeah, the, the, over you're right, the years. You've got to take it with a grain of salt. And people always either agree completely or, or hate just, it instantly. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right, you're right. So there is no middle ground when it comes to Sonic Fox opinions. He, he gives them, and when he does, it's always a hot topic of conversation. Not sure what he's going to do here is they can't figure out how to play, but we're gonna log I don't even know what's happening. So this also, I, I just want to set up this match. Not only are they both Echo Fox, or they're both, this is God, Injustice God versus Injustice God. Yeah, where one dropped off, the other picked up. Theo winning the majors in Injustice 1 by, you know, multiple accounts. A lot of them. Yeah, yeah and then when Sonic <laughs> stepped in, uh, you know, that he was He took that. over, yeah, he took over the reins. But even when Theo came back, he came back with Avengers showing Sonic, he's like, hey, Remember still me? here. Yeah. And it's going to be Captain Cold again. The Slaughter Swamp, very popular stage. Button check in play now as Sonic makes sure that Cold can trade up that gun to level two, which is exactly where he wants to keep it now. Just a hint of history at CEOs. Theo, let's just keep it real. He washed Sonic Fox. Yeah. It was 3-0. He, he it was kind of kind of. Like, and I don't, and I'm, I'm not even, that's not even hate on Fox. Like, he, he straight up bodied Fox. Like it was, it was kind of free. But here we go, running it back once again at Vianality. Captain Cold Finally, against shot at Superman. Careful. All right. This is the first Just match of top to eight. Freeze your ass. Begin. Yeah, as I was talking over the intro. It's okay. He probably told him to chill out or something. Gets the offense going. Gunshots from full screen into the lasers. And Sonic using every second of recovery to trade up that gun as he's desperately trying to get the level two. 
<laughs> and this is so clean from Fox. Taking chip, but the game honestly changes once Fox's cold gets two, uh, two bars into his trait because he keeps it pretty much for the rest of the game. The way that he uses the character and he's able to reset and get another two bars off of the first initial snow globe. And Theo not caring about any of this. Sonic is going to go into his snow globe and he can't just charge his gun for free as Superman has those lasers to interrupt. Now, there you go, the heat oh, zap. So chip damage. As he has the ice puddle right in front, Sonic going to go for it. Oh, I know it's gone by then, but he is going to get it confirmed. He's going to spend it, and I think that was worth it. Charging it for the second trade instead of going straight for the damage. I don't know what Theo was looking for in this situation, but the back dash there after getting hit by the wall, able to escape. Nice speeder burn roll through. Yeah, but Captain Cold, not much in the meterless damage department. No. Not at all, actually. His meterless damage is very weak. Design this gun myself. Mid screen. Yeah. Absolutely. Another thing about that Captain Cold trait gun, as it reaches different levels, his trait shot, his backboard war normal projectile does in fact travel faster with each level I'm and yes. do more damage. Yes. Cold front coming. And at level two, it is a serious projectile. And there's the clash from Theo now jumping back. Just out of the range to not trade with cold projectiles. Lasers up. Here's the trade. Oppression session starting Ooh, from and Theo. He tried for the down one, but Theo slightly backed up for, like just for a split second, and the spacing was immaculate. All right, Sonic Fox with that level two, playing the projectile game. Here's the meter burn roll. Getting caught. Not a lot of damage. Superman though with two bars, and Very. now the life lead is in Theo's favor. Extremely patient play from Frio. Here's the throw right there. Not going for the much. Mix up heavy potential up close. And his trait finally returns. And no clash from Sonic Fox. This is going to be. Is he really not going to clash here? He is not. Trait lasers. Any chip damage situation would put Sonic in big time trouble. And Sonic doesn't even have his trait anymore. And there is the clash. But How long are you keeping with on one ice? bar, Theo can not what I had planned. potentially continue the bleeding here but he's not going to spend it and that clash is going to retract the trait build up from cold back down to nothing he's going to have to get in the old-fashioned way with the combo as Theo is chipping away at his life piece by piece punish oh, okay. okay a little bit of damage here down one under the dash punch and I, and this could be it the meter burn here's the back three does he have enough juggle left and, and he, he does wow so Sonic Fox with a super late clash, which we doubted. Or at least I did. I'm not going to put you in that boat too, but. All right, Sonic Fox now waking up, not playing with Theo at all until he has level two trait ready at the helm. That Death Sickle looking for a better trade to deal with Theo's lasers and maneuverability. And look Ooh, at the speed on these this. projectiles. And the down one into the level two, Theo in big time trouble now. Here's the throw. He's going to get frozen from this. Absolutely run up. Full combo now from Sonic Fox. Oh, and let me tell you something. Although he doesn't do a lot of damage meterless, Cold is a character that will dish out some hurt. As long as he has at least trade or bar or both. We're talking about hurt. Here's Theo with the raw jump in coming from Superman into the restanding possibility. Sonic watching his legs and Very puts nice. up the wall. I've wasted enough time. Nice down to one of, if not the best in the game. Here's the corner set up the icicle oh, and the meter burn bro. So dirty. The overhand cross up Theo, not ready for the attempt. Has the clash immediately, but luckily, in his defense, he has the life lead, the uh, excuse me, the meter lead, and now he has right. Sonic in the corner right where he wants him. But Sonic has shown that he can fight at wow, <laughs> just two straight lasers. All right, trading up now, saving the recovery. We'll put the faith in his defense. Challenges the throw with the jump in Beautiful with and punish. to the corner. Here's the full, almost charge. Corner extension. Icicle set up, low overhead, low, Whoa. all within two frames of each other. And I don't know if it's two frames, but that's what it feels like watching this level two trade. Here's the wake up, baited now. Theo went big time Backdash. trouble. That is going to be it. So, wow, 2 0 Sonic Fox against the Theo Superman. Did you think? You would see a 2-0 lead 
on a cold player versus Begin. Superman. Did you think you would see Captain Cold at all? No, actually I didn't, and I'm so excited to and see that's the beauty this of this game early. People get so strong up and complaining no, about no, popular you right. characters, you absolutely right. forgetting that balance is in fact a thing. And Cold here in utility, putting in the work against Superman. This is not some improbable situation. People just need to open their eyes. Now a lot of eyes are being opened right now by Sonic Fox. There is the trade. Right into the death globe. It's Theo and big time trouble back to the wall and a slowdown cross up here. Sonic Fox rolling here in this third game. The ice cream man. Charging up, he's already got a bar. Working on the second bar here, fighting from the corner with no qualms. That, that down two is so good. You can't it extends guess, his, guess hurt, uh, his hitbox, but not his hurtbox. Every approach has been denied. Captain Cole with that down two, able to cover the air, not worried about jump ins or air dashes, and that wall at the perfect distance, closing all of the gaps. Oh, here we go again. Push blocks this time. Theo still stuck in the globe. How's he going to escape? And he's just desperately trying to run out of there. He does find his way out. Successfully, that's how. Theo with the great reads now. The back dash, catching Sonic, charging it up. He did pay with quite a bit of his life, though, when he was trying to get out of that snowboard of death. Oh. And there's the protection right there in front. That ice puddle. Theo will have to jump over an air dash to escape. Gets the level two out, and Theo was in trouble. This combo. juggle is going to freeze. Inevitable. Oh, and what a punish! And just like that, a shot to the S on his chest. And it's snark. Slowing Sonic. down the attack with the simplicity of a gun he made, taking out the son of Krypton. <laughs> He's just a guy with a gun. What's up? Human technology is superior? Unreal. Sonic Fox now puts Theo in losers, and up next is going to be Dragon versus your boy, White Boy. Should be a good show, man. These guys are all here for the same reason. Get the W. These are all current finalists with huge gaps, but they want to extend them and push them so high, looking to secure number one, number two seats to get the quote-unquote easier path right. during finals as, again, it's crunch time. There's Which a premiere I mean, just about every week. The online qualifiers, rankings, the action does not stop from this point here on out. And in the first leg, White Boy also staying in Europe to attend versus fighting uh -huh. next week to double up on points here he's in not Europe. the only it's, one. It's a, an amazing strategy, but you still have to go through the same amount of players no matter where you are. Uh, same caliber of players, excuse me, right. here or there. You know, we can fight a combo breaker. We can fight yeah. in finality. At, at that point, it's fighting over semantics. Like, there, there's just good players all around now, and everyone is leveling up. I mean, we've seen it here. I'm sure we'll see it uh, versus fighting. We'll see it at Summer Jam. Um, we'll see it at... You know, the Hometown Hero Finals, everyone, the Path to Pro, League of Latina, everyone is leveling up and bringing new things to the table. I mean, we literally just saw Sonic Fox play Captain Cold against Superman, and he won. And not only Superman, but Theo Superman, someone that has beaten him before, someone that has proven to be one of the best in the world. What a speaking of best of the world, we got these two guys. The EVO champion. The CEO champion. The last two guys to win the premiere and the major events. That's true. Back to back. So it was uh, Clash of the Champions yep. here. It was CEO for White Boy. And then right after that, it was Evo for Dragon. Both champions in their own right. Both very strong players. One of which is a Florida boy. It's, it's going to be exciting as, as, as we get the quick restart going. Just a little scarecrow all the way so far for a White Boy. He's talked about using Aquaman. He still personally believes Aquaman is still a really good character. That is I probably the hottest topic in the scene right now. <laughs> so actually, why don't you and I talk about that real quick? Sure. Because it's, it's not a matchup thing. Oh, Aquaman, I feel, even still, although yes, he, he did eat some pretty significant nerves, especially with his tentacle strike not being able to extend combos, but I feel like in the matchups where Aquaman was good, he still is good and he still does just fine. I, I don't think that the character was gutted and the character is trash, um, but now you are going to have to work a little bit harder or try and rush a little bit more because, I mean, that's the option that he's going to go to. Try more. and rush a little bit right? more. Right, you know what I'm saying? As because if that's humanly possible. Right. 
But I, I still think the character is okay. I don't think the character is dead. No, that's here. my opinion. Absolutely. Use a scoop. That's, it's, that's what it's there for. Meter burn it. Get your damage. You don't need 500 mid-screen every touch. It's fine. The I mean, meter burn, nice, though. The meter burn tentacle strike still does a healthy chunk it of does. damage. And you have to change your game plan up a little bit. So what? You, you don't need to be a defensive wall and still get all the damage off of every touch. Sure. Anyway, so I like the idea of how NRS is deciding to balance. Bring the top down just a little bit. Bring the bottom up. You know, as much as they can. As much as they can, and sure. And not overwhelming. And meet in the middle. And, and I like that because I think in the previous version of the game, you had that clear, these are the these best characters. These are the characters that are going to dominate that, the that rest. That top yeah. seven, you know, Batman, Superman, Deadshot, Catwoman, Atrocitus, you know, whoever. I'm forgetting two or three. No, but no, I understand what you're saying. But yeah, Those. And then you had that next those. chunk <laughs> of characters that are right. like. Are They're just on the to- cusp, are right? They top like, you can make the argument, you have Scarecrow, Green Lantern, Harley Quinn, Green Arrow, those type of characters, you know? Yep. And they want everyone to meet in that midsection. People are real hot about Black Canary right now and her sure, potential sure. and what she can do. We just saw Captain Cold mop his way to through top eight here at, sure. at a premiere. It, it's, it's all over the place. Besides our poor Swamp Thing, uh, we yeah, love Swamp Thing. I, I, I'm in agreement with you. We both feel like the, the, the character is good, but he just still struggles a little bit too much against most. I of think the we cast. actually speak for the entire world when we say, "Please just help him. him, give him a something." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, give him something. I think yeah. the entire world will accept it at least for one version of the game, where Swamp Thing is just, just super the best broke. character. Care. Yeah. I don't even care. You know what, NRS? Give him laser beams that come out of his vines, like. Give the man something because he does need a little bit of help. No, but I agree with you uh, because NRS in the past, like when we talk about their patching, they've had some characters that do come out a little bit stronger than I think they intended. And I do really like how they let the game breathe all the way out through Evo. There wasn't Absolutely. there was patches, but they were mainly like quality of life patches. It wasn't like a huge balance change at all. And then with their first balance patch, what they decided to do was kind of go a little light, give some characters uh, slight nerfs that needed it buff other characters but still nothing major i mean the Absolutely. patch wasn't really a major patch it was just little things my here favorite there. part of all the announcers were you know xyz character no changes that character is solid that's shows that they have the belief they have the vision of the game and they know uh people can feel however they want but everything that nrs has said that they were going to do they have done it so yeah. here we are we're in a far better place than we've ever been pro series is turning character variety is through the roof even when we've it was black so adam black adam you know we're finding new people every event, just showing up and making heroes of themselves. As White Boy gives us a special look. He's a, yeah, but I'm, he's I'm, a confused man. And, and obviously, dude, I cannot wait for freaking Starfire, man. She is one of my favorite DC stream characters. Stream tomorrow. She, she is my favorite Teen Titan. It is going to be streamed tomorrow. Make sure you guys tune into that. It's going to be right here on Twitch.tv forward slash NetherRealm. And uh, I'm excited for all of her little goodies that she's going to have. She lo- from the trailer, she looked amazing. She, to me, she almost looks like a mix between like Black Adam because there was a string that almost looked like Ford 1-2 and then a little bit of Firestorm as well, which are two characters that I play. If she anti-airs like the goddess she is, then I'm in there. That's it. I don't are like we both going to be Starfire Boys? Well, or everyone's well, going to be Starfire Boys right off the rip. Like, that's true. You know this. That character looks really, really fun, and I, and I truly can't wait to see what she's capable of. But then let's talk about what's coming after that. What characters are we going to see after that? I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know anything. I know you don't know anything. I'm asking you to speculate. No, I don't. I don't what, huh? I don't. No, no speaking. Um, speculate. I don't know what that means. Can we just, can we just both agree that we all want spawn to be in this game I, I don't i don't i just told you i don't have anything to do with anything uh kp does not comment on rumors or speculation i'm not asking you to have rumors i was just cu- I was what just was the second word what was the second all word right, speculation right. yeah you asked directly for that nope Listen, nothing i am wearing a medal you should respect that's me. my medal yeah well that's not my fault you lost all your money and now you had to had me buy this off of you so you had something to eat i didn't sell you my medal you just put it on and i let you keep it it's okay Keep it on for now. You can't keep it. There's no reason for you to let it. They watched the tournament. (laughs) It's okay. Enough about us. Let's see it back to White Boy and Dragon. As we get everything good. All right, now back on the stream. Now going to go to tournament mode. And I don't know. Do these two young men have game faces? Or are they always the the same? I don't know because they both... You know, like Slayer has his game face. You know when it's time. No, Slayer's game you know, face. Bio is has his the game same, face. Though. You know, it never changes. Yeah, but it's a game face, though. Do these guys have one? 
Dragon's game face always looks like he's worried. I don't know why. <laughs> This is so awkward. <laughs> All right, at least the stage is on the screen. It's going to be Black Adam against Scarecrow. Oh, that's actually a really cool Scarecrow here. Dude, Scarecrow has top five here. In the game. He does have really no question. Yeah, no, he does. He definitely, I, I, no question. I'm not even going to argue that. All right, so Dragon taking the bulk of this button check. Clearly taking it infinitely more serious than Dragon did. There is the handshake, and finally we are into it on the other All side right. of winners. Dragon against White Boy. Here we go. Patience. Air to air, jump attack, and Dragon draws first, stretching out that lightning bolt on the chest. Some fantastic fabric from the people in Egypt. I don't know yeah. how that costume doesn't rip, but Black Adam is definitely in there. The Tailors of Combat give a shout out here. But this is a really interesting matchup because I think. Scarecrow overall does really well against Adam. Once he puts him on the ground, it's really tough for Adam to get anything going. And after that, especially without a true, really good wake up. And the pressing is Dragon, use, uh, White Boy, excuse me, using that down one to have his way. Dragon has no idea what to do in this situation after blocking plus six, trying to jump out, but White Boy having none of it. Oh, that's. I was going to say, that could have been a very costly draw, but unfortunately, he actually threw him out of the corner, which gives Dragon a little bit of leeway. Still great first round from White Boy. Where he challenges the plus frame, so on the EX dive kick, looking for that forward one, which in NRS games, high attacks will not hit you crouching. Thus, you'll see players at high level poking under them all the time yeah. on read, on reaction. That's what exactly what White Boy did there. Dragon turned the tide back in his favor, depleting that first life bar, putting them on even grounds. Okay, 1-1. One, one. Cancel. That's a really awkward uh, string to deal with after the cancel. It catches people off guard all the time because you're always expecting the third hit. Walking back now, extremely patient. That empty jump from Dragon, uh, from White Boy, excuse me. I'm mixing them up. Why am I mixing them up? It's okay. It's okay. They're both young and they're both talented. Yes. Nice. Again, going straight into the command grab. And he actually gets the wake up. Dragon is not afraid to use it. Sometimes you got to go for it. Super ambiguous. White Boy with the back dash to clear the space. And, and there it is, though. White Boy is going to take the first game. Yes. Yeah, not letting him clash. Super ambiguous right back at you on that neutral jump punch. That sickle. Who knows what side it hits on. White Boy does. And Dragon now with a look of question. Leaning to the side. A little swagger to his step now. Dragon showing some style right there. A little, you know. Little pizzazz. We got the anime glare on the shades. You know, get out of here. <laughs> Give the young man some credit. The dragon chain taking Dude, him to various this, titles. Know, that's a sickle. Amazing. Like an actual sight on the end of his sickle. That's crazy. And the gas mask. I don't know who designed Scarecrow's gear at NRS, but you stay beautiful. Begin. All right, they start out the same way again with Patience. Dragon looking for the trait cancel into the throw, but White Boy still in the hit stun. Yeah, and we saw just there Dragon using that forward one, one of the best anti-airs in the game. Black Adam's forward one is so strong. All right, rearranging all of the furniture here in the throne room in Atlantis. Black Adam only believes in, him, in himself as a king, but Scarecrow cares about none of that. No. In fact, he loves showing the kings around the world the, of their fear. All right, down one chain, looking for the mix-up with the sickle. Expecting Dragon to recommand grab, but is a very patient man. Recovers after that wake up, able to get the down one, but no continuation. Yep. And that string, actually, you can, it, it is plus, but you can backdash the last hit. Well, no backdash in this situation. This Dragon carries White Boy towards the corner of death, looking for the chip. Anything will do oh, it. He tried for the instant air blast. Yeah, that was pretty cute from White Boy, suspending himself in the air, looking for the lightning, but instead it was a patient dive kick. And Dragon now, the tape on replay, this offense nonstop. White Boy not able to get anything going in the second game. The back three, now Raw into the chain. Patience from both players. I really like when these games kind of boiled down to this play <laughs> Yeah, really dash up command grab. That is the riskiest, but big time reads. And the big boost to the back. Okay, tap the toes a few more times. He wants to make sure he gets his workout in. Scarecrow trying to stay as agile as possible. And Arachnid coming to his face, though. No agility there. 
Number back three again. And the problem with that, I know what he's trying to do, but that is a very, not very slow, but it is one of the slower back threes. It's not exactly the quickest. Oh, so there's the unclassable forward threes from Dragon, the meaty. Meter burn, low lightning, looking for max damage, white boy in oh, chip territory. Wow. And look at that. Dragon is so good. We've seen him lose multiple first games uh, this weekend, but he comes back so strong. The, the, the kid's ability to adapt is actually kind of unreal. I think white boy's ability to hit re uh, player select was kind of uncanny. That was so fast. Yeah, that was also very fast. Change of pace didn't want anything to do with Atlantis. Now in the back cave. Change of pace, change of scenery. Let's see if these guys open up with the extreme patience like the first two games. No way, White Boy immediately challenging down two into that fear blast. Everything rolling now. White Boy working on a perfect. He is halfway there. White Dragon looking for the wake up. White Boy having none of it. Yeah, not going to work this time. Jump in and more pressure plus frames. Nice. Oh, good. And there's the plus frames pummeling the young man from Delaware. Is White Boy oppressing himself, having his way. No chip damage there, but no punish. Wow, and... Literally, the only thing that stopped that from being a flawless life bar was the trait from Adam. And oh. that is going to catch. Yeah, Dragon in big time oh, trouble here. Has to clash God. immediately. Dragon. That was going to be around 400 damage into mediocre setups. One bar, of course, you know, slightly more than 15% yeah. lost. And the trait is activated now. Damage over time as long as White Boy can get close. Every bit of chip helps. Wow. Down one, command grab. We haven't seen, he, I really love the way the white boy spreads those out. He doesn't use them all at once, and he really makes his opponent think about it. And what a confirm. Unbelievable here from white boy. This is all put over. Nice punish there, but I don't even think a real master could come back from this. I mean, it's going to be hard. He's going to take this life bar at the very least. And here's but a big time problem, full so screen. This is Adam, right? One of the best closers in the game. Guess what? Meet Scarecrow, also one of the best closers in the game, both with trait. And punish there. Here's the teleport. This is death accepted. Dragon knows a thing or two about it. He actually tweeted that if you have low life and Scarecrow activates trait, step number one, accept your death. Yep. Scarecrow. <laughs> This, what is the adaptation here? Does he go back to Aquaman? Does he stick with Adam? Black Adam. Right, so he's going to stick with the Adam. Excuse me, not the Adam, the Black Adam. One of them. Yeah, just Adam. We'll, we'll just go with that. That's okay. Begin. We got you fine. Our background bounce in place, and this time more aggression as both players jump towards each other. White boy. What a start. 455 damage, KP. Oh, and this, wow, this is so dominating for let's, White Boy. Let's stretch it out, baby, as we get those legs up. Everybody with me now. Scarecrow trying to get the job <laughs> done. But Dragon, pretty ambiguous, hits on the front side into the corner. What's it going to be? Wake up, of course. White Boy wants nothing to do with it. Patience. And the dive kick. Chasing him down the jump back and a uh, white boy that now. Was so sick. That one, was so sick. One health bar away from winners finals. Dragon, what does he have? What does he have left in the tank? And another air-to-air -air white boy with the life lead in this situation. Not the best position for Dragon to try and clash. Takes out the trash on him. Okay, oh, that actually could have been a big confirm. That was a huge chance for Dragon. Still has Scarecrow stuck in the corner, and that is going to do it. Yeah, White Boy caught trying to disrespect, paid for it with his first life bar. Now in the corner, Meter Burn back three, whiffs it, and Dragon's patience slowly allowing him to crawl back into oh, this. The meter a drop, though. And there is the punish. Whiff it once, shame on me. Whiff it twice, no way, says Dragon. He gets the full combo conversion back into the corner. A little late on the back dash. Eats that unblockable damage from that car. And Dragon is very much in this now. White Boy, desperation, throwing out normals. And another whiff. And Dragon with another punish. Yep, and now that's going to be three bars available for, excuse me, White Boy to clash. He's going to spend two. Getting 25%. White Boy's actually been caught by a lot of dive kicks. Trying to walk up and duck, and again, that ambiguous neutral jump too. And this time, the meter unnecessary with the background bounce helping anything. There's the trait summit. Oh, huge. This is huge. Hit. Look at 
one read and the jump back air to air one dragon trying to keep his winner's life alive close enough there's the trait once more this is so tense a block waiting it's hit and oh, the, and the air jump back air one jump back one massive hurt box when Dra uh, white boy goes for that air chain he's actually able to get hit in this yeah. sequence in this game so dragon with the read the great reaction and who's man's oh, okay he came for dragon Scarecrow, Black Interesting. Adam. Interesting choice of coach. Well, I mean, he really choose the coach. <laughs> <laughs> that gentleman that did just come up to White Boy, though, or excuse me, um, Dragon Thank does you. also play Adam. Locked in now, the final game, two to two. Doubles Dragon, Renegades White Boy. Great whip punish there. White boy getting a little antsy. That dolphin dive from a little too far out. But then Dragon right back at it. Going for that meat burn. Like, excuse me, the wake of Lightning Cage. And all this pressure again. This is all plus. Look at the beautiful top hat. And that is a punish on the command grab with that instant jump attack. Fantastic read from Dragon. Double down one into Lightning Hands for the Palpatines. Plus frames. Good push block. A bar that's, for a bar. Yeah, and that's been Dragon's adaptation for the most part. He's been... Oh, my God. As I was saying, that's been Dragon's adaptation for the most part. He's been push blocking uh, as soon as he's seen White Boy uh, burning meter for the plus frames. Going for that meaty back three. Probably looking for the back dash on Wake Up. Either way, he's going to eat... The fruit of this entire 400 plus damage is Dragon. Oh, and that is going to hit one bar apiece. Why is this the inevitable? This is nowhere yet. Huge shock of lightning. Get out of my face. Oh, and poor oh, Steve. No, Steve, what? Look at him. Look at that man. He took something out of his chest. I need the tech. Give me the replay on that. Is this how he gets a second chance at life? I don't know. But right now, Scarecrow putting in the work to command grabs, stretching out Black Adam. Oh, and he just a dash up, so disrespectful. That's right. Welcome to the Gotham Gym. And we... another one. This is now where he's so threatening. He's doing things that he hasn't done before. And again, White Boy. And gets... that is it. White Boy will move on to the winner's finals, where he is guaranteed at the very least top three. Do a little bit of stretching. We saw Scarecrow get those legs up one and two and three oh and four God. and those big combos. Black Adam didn't want to participate, so we stretch him out ourselves. We bring young Jonathan Crane to make an appearance here. All the hysteria, all the hallucinations, and all of the fear flowing through the streets of Gondok and Black Adam's soul as Dragon heads to the loser's bracket. Coming up next. Those are some shark infested waters, I might add. You have Theo down there, you have Yamini, you have Forever King. Biohazard as well. Yeah, let's not forget about Foxy, whose guns Foxy. are reloading as we speak. Gee. Man, I am still like just super impressed with White Boy and, and how his play has been. Um, he was one of the best players in Injustice 1, doing a lot of work with Doomsday, Absolutely. getting a lot of grand finals right there next to um, Sonic Fox. And then in an MKX... White boy, whoa, go ahead. Keep giving him props because he can't understand right here behind us no, so I he know. can actually listen to you. He's know, not really actually having a conversation that he's paying attention no, to. No, I know. He's a scumbag. I love this and kid. He, no, I go love ahead. Uh, and then in MKX, actually, in the beginning, he was struggling. He wasn't placing as well or playing as well as he wanted to. But then further into the game's life, he picked up Jason and some other characters, and he started to play much better. But now that Injustice 2 is back out, he has proven that he's still one of the best Injustice players. He won CEO. I know he didn't do as well at EVO as he wanted to, but coming now to Viennality, he's in winner's final, and he is just as consistent as ever. But that is not to leave these two gentlemen out of the fray. It is Forever King, we've said it before, one of the best, and Biohazard, again, another player, one of the best. All right, King obviously taking Biohazard extra. Extremely seriously as he is not on Twitter at this point. Wait a minute, he's looking down. No. Is that a controller or a phone? He's shaking his pecs and I hate it. He is shaking his pecs. Who does that? King does. Look at the C and the A. Also, the don't ask me jumping. why I was noticing. Now, I didn't even ask you that. They will call you out on it later. But <laughs> He's going to test his interactable.
All right, there is the handshake. Smile from King. Game face from Biohazard. Harley Quinn against Batman. Harley, who's done historically good Harley. against Bruce. Yep. So uh, what, what is it in this matchup that I shouldn't have spoke? I, I spoke at the very end. What is it in this matchup, though, that it, that is so good for Harley that it helps her? Well, Harley's Batman. very annoying with Batman and she keeps him out. She does, Batman wants to be up close and deal with all this pressure. She can contend his Batarang zoning with the gunshots. She has the overhead gunshots, the hyenas, right. the meter burn cupcakes. Just so many tools in the arsenal to annoy Batman. However, King, in the corner, you have nowhere to run. He doesn't seem to care about literally anything you just said. Of course, impose your will and not allow Harley the space to do whatever she loves to do, which is annoy you yeah. and force you to break down, which is a universal trait in all fighting games. She just happens to do it really well. Okay, so again, patience, but this is a large life lead. Yeah, Batman simply can't just run his way in as he wants to. Biohazard keeping King right where he wants him right now. He's in a massive life deficit, but it all adds up piece by piece as he meet a person, the overhead gunshots, and King trying to follow. He was going to jump Yo, he right. He was chasing, yeah, he was chasing right back. And Biohazard with the errant jump. Great read from Forever King. How do you think this would go? Trades are out. Very plus. Has to deal with these hyenas. And not able to get the activation on the second hyena call. Perfect King with that meter burn roll. And now Batman is in. Pressure yeah, time. Pressure time indeed. KP, all of this pressure. And now getting opened up is Biohazard. A lot of damage. 452. And there's the whiff punish here from Biohazard. Full combo. Big mallet for the back three. A lot of chip in that situation, King. Yeah, that actually was quite a bit. In between the batter ranks, good zoning from Biohazard. Oh, and again, that was beautiful. King rolling in, using the security blanket that is the mechanical bat, having no problem expending his meter for traversal of the stage instead of battering pressure. Oh, nice duck. He is going to backdash out of the way of that bear trap, and it is going to snap without any Batmans in it. Double jump to evade everything. Mita burns it to evade the gunshot, but gets hit upon landing now. Biohazard, although a massive life deficit, any touch is going to kill. He's been bringing it back, though. Yes. There's the cupcake bomb, the free chip after Forever King blocks the hyenas. Ooh, Rolls nice in. evasion, but that is it. Gets hit with a back one. Biohazard going to, low. going to restart match. Didn't play it terribly bad. Just no, put himself didn't. in a big hole early, and it yeah, was kind of hard to problem. come back from that situation. You're absolutely right. He got in a little too deep too early. And there's the down one challenge after into the tantrum stance. And here's the corner set up. Hyena is called the overhead version. King with a wake up down two to avoid any neutral jump mix-ups. Oh, and still using the mechanical man bat after the block to keep technically the bus frames from the bear trap to be nullified. Yes, and... Biohazard looking to challenge. After you block Batman's trait, they have no block stun. So you can press a button immediately right. after, but if the Batman player is right on point with his normals following up, then you can get hit as we saw Biohazard get his down two interrupted. A beautiful landing recovery punish. And again, Biohazard looking for the whiff punish there in between that headbutt and those double knees, but a little too late to the party as Batman strikes first and Forever King takes the life bar. Okay. Still, this is kind of the same situation as we've seen, uh, or as we saw last round. Bio, though, not as in bad shape this time as he was last time. Oh, it's just running right in, falling the mechanical mat, hitting the low, but Biohazard should be able to close it out, and he does. There you go, back to back, and this time not facing a massive life deficit as he goes into the red health. Chip galore, there's a straight gunshot. Again, Forever King making great usage of that bat, straight into the meter burn roll to force his way in as Biohazard has kept him out otherwise. Goes for the full tension stance, one. Oh, and whiffing that I think he was expecting. Forever King to jump and meet him in the air with that normal as he went instantly, but he landed and got punished for it. 
Gunshots galore. Overhead gunshots. Delay on the meter burn. Rids Batman of the trait exactly what Biohazard wants. And King looking for the read, but Biohazard not biting. Finally jumps in. There's a whiff. And Ooh, the instant wow. jump too. So much hit stun. Enough for Batman to land. land. He can go. He can hit you on the way up, then land, then still combo you. And this is going to be it. No, it is not. The meter burn. Two bars for the air escape. Is Biohazard whipping some buttons and King is now in. King is going to close out the second game against Biohazard here. Batman. Has to think about it. Again, Biohazard, another player who has a, a huge roster of characters he can play at any given moment. But, however, when your opponent has those two wins, you know that whatever you pick, you are tied to. You have to marry that yeah, character. No, he, whatever at the whatever his decision is right now, he is. That's it. He has to ride and die with that character. Batman. Bane. And oh, Bane, and it is it gonna be is Bane. Biohazard pulling out Can the heart. Can Biohazard break the bat yet again? Begin. All right, that's his end. Follows up immediately now. An infinitely more aggressive play. Biohazard right now, and King reverting to his zoning tendencies that have done him so well in this tournament so far. I gotta say, over wow. And the meter burn roll followed up by the command grab, chasing down the back dash, but King going for two back dashes. And Biohazard even in deep buff, fighting like the warrior spirit that he has. Piece by piece, slowing it down, trying to evade, spinning the meter to get in. Yeah, the problem is he's actually spending too much meter, and he's not going to be able to really utilize it for damage. It's just, it's all going to just get in. Oh, looking for the air grab, a little preemptive on the read. Is Biohazard King able to land and get the punish on the whiff recovery from that bait? Just out of range, going for the grab. Burning another bar of venom. All right, it completes the string, gets the kick, jumps in, and King push blocks immediately, afraid of the mix-ups up close. Smart stuff to not deal with them at all. And beautiful with Punish there with a the mechanical bat. This is it. This is Biohazard's last leg. And there's the, the unsafe slide. Biohazard couldn't punish it, but instead it gets the command grab. King with the wake-up jump. Oh, nice block from Biohazard going right under, and he's going to catch. Oh, okay. And that OTG off the ground. That, that was, was a continued so combo. Sick. OTG 640. I definitely kept the eye out for that one. Here's the paint charge to get right back in there. Another one back-to-back. -back. Will the grapple connect? Yes. Nice punish from King. Immediate break. Two bars. Available for Biohazard. Also two for King. He's gonna get one. Time to get in, but didn't want to risk. His say, terrible movement yeah. and debuff. The forward dash, everything slowed down for Bane. That is why Biohazard is the best with this character. Yeah, Venom management so important. Okay. And the call out from Biohazard, a challenge, raw command grab from Max Range. But that train is gonna charge up so fast because it was just the first level. And here we go. This could be where it all starts for Biohazard. Can he make it happen? No, rolls out, but Come. he chases it down. Where are you going, Bruce? Spins the bar meter to put him back in the corner now. Batman with the wake-up jump. Biohazard looking for that uppercut. Big read. Oh, And that's no. so costly. Two bars on the air escape. Blocks the jump too successfully now as King is trying to force his way in while he's on deep up and commits to the slide. One makes up a way, and there's a crossover jump. Completing this combo will eliminate Biohazard. Do it. Wow. Biohazard falls 3 0. And so close. Forever King. But not enough as Forever King keeps his Viennality dream alive, advancing into the top. I have five. to say, this, this tournament is some of the cleanest play I have seen from Forever King. Say what you will about the zoning and the nonsense, but he has been looking, uh, I think, better than he ever has. Yeah, absolutely. The best thing about King so far in this tournament is his ability to adapt. Mm -hmm. We've seen him rush down with the best of them, and when he needs to flip the switch and zone and get away, he's put up a wall that's rivaled what we've seen from the likes of Theo yeah, no, you're and, right. and, and guys like that where you, right. you can't really approach him. And that also sets up Forever King versus Dragon now. Yeah. So welcome to top eight at a premiere, I guess. And that's in losers, but look at this. That cross-up was everything. And he actually delayed the jump too because of uh, the fact that 
Bane has a little bit of a larger hitbox, it, he did it so that it wouldn't hit in the front and it would actually truly cross up because in the set, King had hit him with multiple uh, jump ins that were, or jump ups that technically hit him in the front. Sure. So that last, he saved that mix up for the very last uh, moments of the game. All right, well, coming up next, the setup, it's uh, the people's champ right now, Yemeni, going up against a foxy grandpa. I'm expecting to see Green Arrow. He's been dealing with it the entire time. Foxy tried and true with Deadshot all oh, the way man, so this far. One, this one is going to really hurt. Interesting matchup. Only one man can advance. Yemeni, listen, he is the hero that we need, but not the one we deserve. We do not deserve this man. Deadshot versus Green Arrow. One of these Green two players Arrow. is going to move forward, and the other one is going to go home. I like the feather. Deadshot. But I also Fighters like Deadshot's mask. It's pretty godlike. Deadshot also has some really cool gear in the game uh, with, like, the dragon uh, wrist cannons, and then he has the, the skull mask. Begin. Right, this is going to do it. Yamini versus a Foxy G. PXP is a Foxy G. Green Arrow. Wow, there was a lot of stuff in Foxy's pockets. I know. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> he has the strategy of the gods in there. He probably has like a secret notebook with all the tech. I was almost expecting him to pull a laptop out of there. Yeah, he hit up. He went and did some MI6 background research yeah. to find everything he could on Yamini as we go back to the There's assignment. not a lot, trust me. <laughs> Tries to slide his way in. The instant jump three from Yamini right in front. And Foxy, again, characteristically push blocking everyone out of his zone. This is actually really a, it, oh, what a, what a call out. Six frame right in between it. Foxy will not deal with the Hurricane Bow. Uh, what I was going to say, this is a very interesting matchup because this is not a matchup in which Deadshot can do quick shots, really. He has to do either the trick shots or the low gun. And Yamini being patient. The knockdown from the fire arrow. Foxy with the wake-up trait looking for those knockback, knockback bullets. And it's funny because Deadshot usually looks to mix you up to put the right bullet for the occasion. However, with Green Arrow, knowing that the low arrow go under everything. Oh, just three slides made him back to back. Yeah, that was kind of ridiculous. Forget the strategy. Just do slide meter burn every single time. It is what it is. And Foxy fighting fire with fire, planting the bomb on the chair and going for the corner combos. 1% arrows. These trades are not in his favor, but he does end up using the meter burn roll in with a down one into the hurricane bow. Gimini loads up a nice arrow looking for a trade at this point. Meter burn rolls in, jumps over, keeps it low, challenges down one. Oh, and he's going to get hit. Only 73 damage, not the worst. Oh, and there's a freeze. Yeah, Foxy runs right into that to the corner we go where Green Arrow has insane mix up. Nice potential. meter burn. 426 damage stays in the front, and Foxy forced the clash right now. Yamini mixing with the greatest of ease. What an incredible sequence coming out of Yamini. All it took for him was just to get in once. And there's the knockback from Foxy jumping in, looking for the re good spacing, and Foxy a little too early on the challenge. Meter burn, low rifle, no bar for Foxy. The throw. Nice grab. Y Yamini now in there. That's probably my favorite grab in the game, I think. And a wake up right back at you from Foxy looking to mix. Now both guys playing the oh offensive no. game and the clash from Yamini. One bar for Yamini, so he is going to spend it. He's going to get 15% back, but it is going to send both of these characters to full screen. 15% arrow back. Foxy trades up. Yamini loads his arrows back to back, looking for the challenge, but again, too far that time. Interrupts it. That one into the arrow. Great blocks. So much stagger on those electric arrows. He wow. gets in. Goes Just a little bit left. And the jump in from Foxy blocks it. 
successfully. There's the overhead. Doesn't commit now. And the meter burn, low rifle, enough chip. Will your mini get an arrow out? Oh, and he trace. does. Your mini. An unbelievable young Oliver Queen, the man who brought an arrow to a gunfight. Yeah, literally. Able to get that shot off before the second meter burn bullet would have killed him. What a clutch situation. Again with the inner of Yumini, so brave, going with the 4-3 instead. He's going to have that shot in the corner now. And, and this this is the most dangerous thing, I think, about Green Arrow, is once he gets the momentum, he is a, he is a powerhouse. Well, here we go, Foxy waking up to short some of that momentum and get back into the neutral game that he loves to blink himself. Drains that meter as Foxy doesn't want Yamini stacking up meter to extend combos with the Hurricane Bow or those meter burn slides. And these projectiles are, are doing a really good job actually working out very much for Yamini as he takes another life bar. 1% arrow god that Yamini is making great usage of all of his tools. I mean, this guy's a nice great arrow player two. from top to bottom. Plus frames. Here's the anti-air Dustin, the combo you love to see. Yeah, dude, that, it's such a cool conversion. It may not be his most optimal, I don't know Green Arrow that well, but it is the coolest looking combo. So here we go, back to the wall. We saw what happened when Yamini got Foxy in the corner the first time, but hold this barrage of bullish, Foxy says, as he tries to deny Yamini. Oh, this is all extra life. Great block from Foxy. That was a meter bird. Four yeah. arrows came yeah. from that quiver, and Foxy blocked all of them. Yeah, and that was a lot of extra life he was taking off of... Uh off of Foxy there before his life bar got taken out, but that's the adaptation we're noticing. He's doing Hurricane Bow without burning the meter, so his hitbox doesn't extend forward. And there's the challenge, no meter to break this back three into the forward three, unclassable, but Foxy with the wake up. Again, one hit, the 1% arrow, not enough to oh, get the job done, is. but the, yes. the second time is the charm, and with that arrow to the knee, Deadshot is gonna take a knee right in front of the sign. Madsen is making himself a villain right now by, by coaching against Yamini. Unbelievable. You have many two games straight. The billionaire playboy that we're not used to seeing. Young Man. Oliver Queen taking it to the contract killer himself. It is 2-0 for Yamini. Wow, that was a lot of gunshots in that juggle. Well done. Getting an early start by Foxy. But we've seen Yamini melt those life leads before. Yes. Trick shot coming in now. Foxy mixing it up, mixing it up with the bullets. Well, Yamini forces his way in with the meter burn roll. Overhead, overhead, low, and the staggers are clean and efficient as a Foxy Grandpa does exactly what he wants to do in that situation. Break Yamini's defense, put him in the corner, and remain full screen the entire yard of the asylum at his disposal. To those arrows again, like you said, you were rocking. He, he, he will use those 1% arrows. Yeah, man. You remember the Injustice one day is, yo, 1%. Yeah. They will forever be 1% in my heart. Oh, and that's going to cost. Oh, I did cost a meter. That's a bar. Fortunately, though, he still has three bars of meter to work with. He's slowly getting in, but he's he's paying with quite a bit of his hit points. And a punish on that meter burn roll. Foxy was ready for the approach. Not this time, my guy, as you get pushed back to full screen. You mini. Has some comebacks in this event so far, but this one looking ever more unlikely this one with would each be passing second. Unbelievably impressive, and at this point, I don't even know if it's possible. Yeah, there it is. Quick uh, shot. So really good adaptation from Foxy. Yes, great adjustment there. Begin. Jumps in, goes for the low in the overhead. Nice blocks. Both men fighting for that first bar of meter. And the mini with that hop overhead. Oh, nice jump in from Foxy. Gonna confirm it to 254 while setting him full screen. Now more chip. The mini with one ice arrow loaded. The trade that actually, that I, the good thing about the ice arrow, even if it's blocked, is it gives him time to move in a little bit. Yeah, well, right there. Loads up the fire arrows instead, looking for the knockdown to help himself advance in. There you go, a dash into the meter burning roll. But again, Foxy showing you many. He will not walk in this building with the meter burn roll. Yeah, I think Foxy has done a really good job of stuffing that option. And maybe you mean could potentially come in a little more patient, but overall, Foxy is doing much better in this in this in the last game and in this current game.
Yeah, Patience is Fonty's oh, middle name. And what a Speaking read. Speaking of trick shot. Headshot ricocheting from the ground. Foxy getting a little fancy here. Another punish. Even though it wasn't intended on the meter burn roll, Yamini struggling to find his way in. A beautiful landing recovery punish. Man, I chunked that one. Eat lead, sucker. Green Arrow coming with his quick little slick whips. And Oliver like, Queen is eat lead, actually kind of hilarious. Yeah, but that shot doesn't care. Just eat lead. What's up? And Yamini is now in. Can he get a sequence going? He does. Forward three combo into the corner. We go if he can open up Foxy What's once up, more. Bench? And this is going to be it pending the completion of this combo That's of it. Foxy Grandpa. Now has your mini on the ropes two to two. A smile on his face. Crying of the sweat, and just like that, what seemed like an easy walkthrough is now a pressure cooker. Gamini in the same situation he was again with Slayer. How is it gonna go? Two to two? Okay, first hit gets the bar. And that's the one thing that I think Foxy has done a much better job of after the first two games is challenging Gamini as soon as he comes in with a back one or another button. And this time the meter burn roll is going to get pushed back, but enough to stay in range. There is the slide. Foxy caught walking back. And meter burn rolls out successfully. Oh, no. He, actually, no, he still got the glove. He did. Looking for that big chunk. Expends another bar on that meter burn slide. There's the arrows. Chasing the back jump down. Trade. Mid screen is going to be another meter burn. He's not going to die quite yet, but the quick shot will do it. Yeah, Foxy simply biding his time, knowing that in a chip damage situation, Yamini is trying to force his way in. Anti air with that quick shot, and Foxy Grandpa in major control here in this decisive game five. Okay, and the, the patience again. The, the, the Man, he adjusted so well, but there is an adjustment coming from Yamini. Finally choosing the burn meter a little short. Getting a little desperate now. That and bench is going to explode. How unfortunate when you finally get to your opponent. He has an interactable, unblockable escape at his disposal. Yamini trying his best now. Here he comes. Those 1%. Tip nice. arrows. There's the side switch. Great air escape from Foxy and the air to air. He has to break. This is the only chance. Both players without any meter at all. It's going to be a, a tie. Yeah, clean reset here, but Foxy, an advantage as they get pushed back full screen from each other. There's the slide. Yamini has to go for the reads now. The overhead okay. into the jump three, and here we go back to the wall. Foxy, however, now has access to a clash. Yamini with the jump in. He's going to need to mix and mix well. Foxy with the excellent defense. Push block, tries to keep everything going, and they'll wake up, and Foxy, Foxy escapes. Out. Wait, no, but he's right back in there. This is a chance holding the arrow a little long, and the interrupt. Chip. And, and commits to like the knee. That. The dream has been killed. Foxy Grandpa, the reverse 3-0. Not laying down the man with the extra little bit of oomph to his game when he's in Europe. Sends home Yamini with a respectable seventh yep. place. And just like that, Foxy Grandpa is now my least favorite player of all time. Oh, for sure. I think he's the, the biggest villain in the world, which sets up a Foxy Grandpa against Theo and the ultimate defensive chess match are you still mad at foxy yeah i'm furious right now pretty upset i mean no i can't be listen foxy did exactly what he should have done as a top player he adapted and he reversed 3 to yamini but yamini absolutely one of the most exciting players we've seen at this tournament i want to give a huge shout out to him i know he's a huge huge fan favorite now playing an amazing green arrow oh absolutely that man and is he on the map deserves all the praise coming all the way like i said from a small town in israel little pockets of the world that just hide these with three people in his seat he's hidden he has won our hearts here he in my opinion still to this day you or to this to this time at this event the mini is the mvp of vianality well the tournament isn't over just yet as the rest of the guys are vying for the points and the biggest chunk of that 20k pot bonus 
we are down to nothing but Americans and a foxy grandpa, the lone European representing this beautiful continent here at Viennality. Coming up next, we yeah, we Dragon come from and this or We come from their continent, I should say. It is, like you said, Dragon versus Forever King. In the losers, by the way. This is not winners. No, not in the slightest. All right, Dragon's going to get the young headphones ready. Evo Champ has to be s secure. Aquaman. Fighters approaching the Batcave. And Aquaman has made his first appearance here in the top eight. Yeah, we Dragon. actually haven't seen Dragon even really play with Staking the character with, at all. With works, playing the right character for the right matchup situations as he believes. And the king of Atlantis here to take out Bruce Wayne in his own home. All right, here we go. Losers going home. Begin. Well, actually, one of these, I think, is staying for PS5, so they're staying in Europe, but you get what I'm saying. It's okay. I do. And the back two crowning Batman right on top of his head. However, King letting the trait fly. So, small trade there, but Dragon does get the advantage of gaining the bar meter from the first hit. Nice jump, but still taking all of that damage because of the water of life. And the wake up trying to rush a move. I'm sure it's not the last time we've seen it and before I could even complete my <laughs> yeah, sentence. Here it is a third time. Slowing down, playing the patient game, checking him with the tentacle strike. Patience walking his way in. <laughs> And right after the try to rush, down one, try to rush. Here's some more try to rush. What's up? How are you feeling, Bruce? Take these pokes. And this should just about do it. Yeah, down one, even. Yeah, and the smart stuff. You see Forever King noticing that Dragon traits up, immediately canceling his strength into that meter burn batarang to gain the damage that he would necessarily get in the combo on block. As Aquaman's trait allows him to slip out of combos, but still take all of the intended damage. Right. What's What's interesting about this matchup specifically? Not even really these two players, but this was the matchup that was considered in Injustice One almost unwinnable for Batman, and now in Injustice Two, uh, some people actually favor it even before the nerf to Aquaman. Some people favored it in Batman's favor. So that just shows how much the, the matchups have changed from the first game to this one. All right, great sequence of blocks here from Dragon. Able to hold it down, not be opened up by King. Bratman so impressive once he gets in. But this time it works successfully. Challenging now, doesn't want to take any more unnecessary damage. Here's the try to rush. And that oh, chip. beautiful. Armored forward three, but it is going to get clashed immediately. Is That would have been a good chunk of damage. Try to rush again as Dragon expends his last bar of meter, keeping the chip. Gains the bar during that block string, uses it immediately. Taking King's life down piece by piece. Here are the blocks, great defense. King trying his hardest to open Dragon up, not happening so far. Blocks wow, everywhere, defense. look at this defense from Dragon. And But oh, throughout all that defense, he got pushed all the way to the corner, but even still he has the life lead. Here's the trade now. A hefty bit of chip from that tentacle strike. The down two. Will he get the conversion? Yes, he will. And there is no meter left on the side of Batman. And that is and gonna do it. The wake up slide dragon simply looking for anything in that situation. King gives him exactly what he wants. Free punish in that situation. The dragon up one game to zero. Back to Batman we go. We're just gonna go to the other room in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem, no problem. Begin. The unblockable, interactable king not ready, simply eating it. And there's a special from Batman. Yeah. Once you have those bats active, able to get a combo conversion after a slide. And again, great adaptation from Dragon already to the patch. Didn't expend yep. the meter on that tentacle strike. Simply to took say, yeah. the damage he 
could get from that situation. Okay, here we go though. Speaking of damage, King gonna get a good bit of it. Oh, but he, he didn't blow it up. Yeah, execution error there. Wanted to plant the bomb on that computer in the corner. But Dragon, no execution errors here on the Trident Rush. As he masses forward, chipping away at Bruce Wayne's health piece by piece. There should be a billion holes in the cape right now. But there are not. I mean, that's some special reinforcement we're talking about. This is true. The crowd here is fantastic. Of course, the old Shades of Injustice 1 screaming at the Trident Rush every single time. King with the plus frames. Forward 3, forward 3. Still... Plus, all around, Dragon blocking. Oh, here we go. Opens him up just a little bit. Oh, gets right over it, and that's going to chip him out. So close was Dragon. A little too early. Out of the range, Batman able to evade that tentacle strike. Okay, and there's wow, the jump just in. chasing him down with two jump hits. Goes for the scoop to get some damage in there. Doesn't work out. And again, Dragon just chipping away at King's health. Not much in the vicinity of full combos. Not even once. Wow, look at this defense from Dragon. And right on cue, he gets opened up. But that fantastic trait, the Water of Life. King continuing the combo, getting himself punished. This won't that was going to well. be the new BNB that we're about to You're see. But it was broken. by forever King. He wanted none of it. Charging up that 4-3, a bit of a tease there is Dragon. King now back on the offensive, trying to open him up without the trait active. Long cooldown recovery on the Water of Life. King trying to have its way, but Dragon finds an opening. Here's the Trident Rush. Down one again. He doesn't. Ex he wants to get the explosion off of that console, but he's just not getting it. And now trades a bar for a bar. Dragon, no meter. He's going to have to do this straight up the old-fashioned way. No Trident Rush. Chip is going to help. King cutting that combo short, knowing the trait was coming, and here's a conversion. Yep. Aquaman still does have available to a clash, but I mean, with that little life, he may not get a chance to. And one piece of meter separates these. And the scoop, the conversion, and the and slam. Is. The Dragon, power. Two oh. to zero. Okay, so just taking a breather, changing the stage. King sticking with Batman. The battle of Bruce and Arthur. Begin. And such a demoralizing situation. Oh, that was actually kind of neat. You have to hold that slide knowing full well you should punish it. It's like negative 200. But when you have the bat to cover your advance, why not? damage here and he is going to get the unblockable this time that's exactly what he wanted he could in fact even go for another one here oh and he just goes for the kill yes yeah, spends the bar the optimal stuff king coming out of the gate firing this time and great avoidance from dragon had he blocked those bats he would have been locked in place to eat the unblockable barrel but now instead we get the bnb 331 damage still very respectable for yeah. one bar I mean, it's not the 450 you used to get, right? But it's still good damage. Plus, you also have to realize the tools that the character still retains. And Dragon taking the full damage from that back three. And the Trident Rush juggle. Wake up. Up by the ring. Fast. Submit, Bruce. Don't bet on it. Walking forward. Uh, and that's kind of what we've seen from King. He's just tried to... He slowly kind of walked Dragon down in order to get a lot of his offense going. Uh, trying to save his mechanical bats for the most part, but... He Checks him. Yeah, he is eating errant tentacle strikes and other little attacks here or there. And Dragon, no patience, no waiting. He spins the meter as soon as he gets it. Trying to rush like candy every single time. King now with the massive life lead. Plus frames. Does it meet a burn it? Lands on it. Very unfortunate for Dragon. anti aired by the projectile. No clash. And King was looking for the trade yeah, there. he was. One bar apiece clash. Like you said, not available for Dragon. So the next hit that King land could potentially kill him, even through Water of Life. 
back to back trident rushes. Dragon now has no meter checks on with the down one. King trades up, covers his approach, and Dragon with the interruption before King can let the bat go. Very close situation there. Oh, wow, as they try and toss right to the face. Back one, two, three. That is not as plus as it used to be. And there it is. Yep, a kill right through the water alive. Aquaman still taking full damage even when he's blocking as long as his trade is active. King with a sigh of relief there, showing signs of Aquaman. pulse. Spider trying to make this comeback. We just saw a reverse 3 0 with Foxy against Shimini. Maybe that's in the air for the loser's bracket. We may never know, but King. Game five, game four, excuse me, getting ahead of myself. Maybe a prediction? Maybe. We said we we're going to stay away, but clearly UKP have uh, decided to throw away. There's the tire. Blocks. Batman wishes it was unblockable, but the gadget characters have to hold the utility. That's it. And denial of that slide as the trident comes down from the sky, fight into that armor. It has been so hard for Forever King to open up Dragon. His defense is incredible. And I like the pokes and the little checks here that Dragon is also doing, even with the mechanical bats out. Well, that's kind of how you have to play against Batman sometimes. You have to, again. Yeah, and King just wasting the momentum, and Dragon immediately is like, you know what? Get this interactive out of here. Yeah, I don't even want this thing here. Yeah, looking for the neutral jump on, uh, pressure on Wake Up, but Dragon reacting with that anti air. Here's a Trident Rush again, chipping away slowly but surely. King back dashing anything on block. Here's the meter burn on the Trident Rush, enough for the kill. Who needs a piece by piece, so much chip. Slow approach. Nice. Evades the forward two. More chip damage. Try to rush. And Dragon is just completely content with this. He doesn't need to open up King. He doesn't need a combo at all from this no, point. No, he doesn't. And that's, that's what I'm saying. That's what, what we were talking about earlier. That's why Aquaman is still a really good character. He doesn't need to do 400 energy damage. He doesn't need to walk King down. He has the life lead. He can simply hang back and get this chip because the approach is just impossible right now for King. Oh, but he just wakes up with a trident rush. He cannot escape my trident, good man. Okay, nice. Uses the mechanical bat to anti air and then follows it up with a jump too. But still, King is very close. 400 and less than 300, excuse me. Or 300 exactly life away from being eliminated from this tournament. You know, actually, what we haven't seen at all from King was grabs. I think maybe if he had mixed in some grabs, he could have used mix-ups to a greater effect, but finally getting attacked, but again, water of life. Yeah, and this one is all but over here. No clash from King. He's just going to lay it down, and Dragon advances 3-1 to one over Forever King. Solidarity. Patience and a hell of a lot of a trident rush gets the job done as he rearranges all of Batman's insides piece by unstoppable piece yeah. as Batman in the DC canon would have the contingency plans and everything he needs to be everybody not an injustice no 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 no, no. but yeah I, I honestly think that if King King really didn't mix up any grabs. In fact, he was just going for can opener pressure where he was just going for mix-up after mix-up, uh, cross-up after cross-up, and Dragon was blocking all of it. I think maybe some grabs in there would have actually helped him at some point, but in the end, Dragon's going to move forward, and Forever King going to get himself a very respectable placing within this top eight. He played great all weekend, but he just wasn't able to take out the Dragon. Not just yet. We have a few more premieres, a few more tournaments in total coming up. Sure. I'm sure there's a chance that these guys butt heads and clash down the line once again. But right now, we go from King and Dragon to Foxy and Theo. Another defensive powerhouse. Yes, both of these guys. Foxy likes Deadshot against Superman. Theo trying to find his way here as his lasers and zoning and spacing weren't enough against Sonic Fox. 
simply played his game plan, charge a level two trait, get in as we saw Captain Cold shock everybody yeah. with his really prowess good. just dominating. And Foxy is okay with full screen zoning. He you is. Know, he has these things. They're called, much is. They're called bullets. <laughs> they travel kind of fast. Uh, they can be tricky, I hear. Yeah. So I'm going to go against the, the commentator green here, and I, ho I hope Foxy loses Superman. so bad after what he did to Yemeni. <laughs> Vinny was the hero. I know I'm not supposed to have a crazy opinion like that, but I am so upset at Foxy for taking out Yemeni. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Europe's last hope trying to Begin. fend off the invasion. Plenty of America's top players as we get into an intense button check for both of these men. All right, here we go, down near the Rock of Eternity. And Foxy getting chances as soon as the clock starts here in the crowd. Puts the bomb on the unblockable. Doesn't want to deal with the interactables. This early in the match, both men jockeying for position, looking for that first hit, and Foxy gets it and spins the beater as soon as he does. Okay. We actually haven't seen a push block yet from Foxy, which is really surprising. Afraid to challenge. There's the low pokes now. Foxy trying to mix well. Nice neutral jump. Theo with the perfect reach. So much recovery on throws in this game. You're able, if you bait it out, and challenges the cancel. Go back to about the throws. If you bait out a throw, you can punish it with just about anything yeah. in the game. Yeah, rather uh, minus some. <laughs> Meter burn rolls out as Foxy. Very smart. Walking back piece by piece, doesn't have to shoot bullets. Waiting for the right time. And both of these men, pressures in their spacing. Pressing minimal buttons and now Theo finds an opening. Here's the forward three. To the corner we go, big time Superman punch. That beautiful patience from Theo. That is gonna do it, jumps up nicely done. Please, don't get up. Shots and Superman blocking him with his fist because why not? Here's the quick shot now. The low into the overhead. Theo respecting the stagger. Here's the throw from Foxy back to the corner. Theo has no problem walking forward. He will do this all day. Piece by piece. I can tell you, slow and steady has won the race so far. And with that forward dash, the forward two right wow. after it, a Foxy That grandpa. was beautiful. Yeah, he, he's sick of Theo. Oh my god, and the down two on wake up, backflips right back into position somehow, jumps out of that oh, knee. That's and, a meter gone. And Foxy fighting so much to get this last pixel nice. and finally finds it as Superman whiffs his string. A lot of recovery on whiff as well. And that was a great scram. Listen, as mad as I am at Foxy for what he did to you, Mini, he's still an incredibly talented player and he's very good. That's really bothering and you, he, isn't it? No, no, it's honestly not. I, I, I do, I've always wa enjoyed watching Foxy. Just not in that one specific matchup. You asked. Only one bar here, 15%. But the relief of not getting powered by Superman as Foxy commits to the overhead, picks up and drops the combo off of the wall bounce. I gotta say, man, dead shot for Foxy. It's it's an interesting pick because we've never really seen him play zoners, but it works so well. Peter Burn rolls, this time a bit more offensive here. Overhead mix up staggers, trying to walk Theo steady to the corner and gets Good the air to air. And now he's forced to clash out of Theo. And no bar from Fox. He's just going to allow Theo to regain his health and try to take what meter this man has left. What a bully is Foxy. Now no, basically no meter for Theo. And that heat zap that could have spelled death. Massive chip. Oh, that trick shot was huge. And Foxy putting it together slowly. I don't know if he has enough left in him, but Theo testing his approach. That quick shot denying all laser startup. And Foxy. There it is. Theo taking the first game, drawing first blood on a Foxy G. Yeah, a little too high on that air gun shot. That bullet sailing right over Superman's head. And that was the latest throw reaction I've ever seen, especially from a man who I've seen take more throws than just about anybody in my life. Gives away 500. Plus the interactable. 
for good measure, the unblockable. Nice down two. Catches the back dash, tests them with the quick shot, staggers. Which aren't as real as they used to be. But even still, that's just how patient and how much respect Theo will show to an opponent. Caught by any mix ups or gimmicks, just playing it slow right now. Great whiff and setup from both men. Nice. And the air is right before the background bounce is Theo, is spinning two bars. And right here at this mid range game, a bit different now. Theo with the dash hit into the forward two, but Foxy looking extremely comfortable right here in this section. Nice punish, Theo yeah, looking for the forward two, punish. but got his buttons reversed on the meter burn roll from a Foxy grandpa. And this looks like an entirely different matchup so far, right at this range. I'm getting caught with the back one two, doesn't go straight into the full combo. Does not, was probably looking for the background yeah. bounce, but moves Theo right out of range. And, and there it is, quick shot. He's found the spacing that's allowed him to control that. Once he got there, the life bar basically went in his favor completely. He hasn't been able to get anything going from just inside of full range. Dodging under these quick shots, trying to get back in. The life lead is not that significant anymore as Theo closes it out, but the adaptation from Foxy has been great. Like you said, he's playing at that pocket range very well as he just gets jumped in on. Yeah, doesn't commit to it. Wasn't expecting that jump in to the land in, in the round right before. After the 4-3, Theo not going with the transition, electing to keep Foxy in this level back to the wall. But with the meter burn roll, here's the escape. Foxy showing fantastic usage of when to use that meter burn roll. Theo is now, this is actually the first time I think I've really seen Theo get impatient. He's kind of dashing in when he shouldn't, uncharacteristically jumping when he shouldn't. And that's a testament to what adaptation really means. Foxy changing his game plan from full screen to just inside of that range has not allowed Theo to do what he wants to do with right. lasers, right. with the zoning, with stopping Foxy's approach. He has him right in that pocket area where Deadshot's shining in this matchup. You can see Foxy even moving forward on occasion now. Gets a little too close with the quick shot, and Theo with the great reactionary player that he is. Oh, and what a beautiful call out by Foxy. Oh, tries to interrupt, has the right idea, but that laser pulling Theo's hitbox back. Jet shot with quick limbs, but not the reach he would like. And I gotta say, look at the life. It was a, a, a pretty decent life lead no. for Foxy G, and now it may just be over already. And that was a clutch air escape. He is still alive somehow. Theo trying to bait some different movement to get the laser on Foxy to block for chip purposes. Oh God, and so Foxy, close. again, the same situation. Foxy a little too high Superman. with that air gunshot, and Theo sliding right under with that laser. Two to zero, two heartbreaking losses, and Foxy taking a bit of a break, getting some extra energy in there. Man, I was gonna say too, so the first game Theo looked just comfortable and dominant, right? The second game it actually looked like Foxy was, that was comfortable Begin. and dominant, but Theo very quickly turned that lead all the way around and was able to take the life bar. He kind of snuck it, he snuck the life bar away because it looked like Foxy was in control the whole time. And Foxy again whiffing that off the background bounces. They want to try to not really sure what the setup or the timing is there, but now Theo in control to the corner we go. No amount of spacing is going to help Foxy from this. Grab throws him in the corner. Now nice with punish. Yeah, and a gift. Oh, but a drop. Again, another drop. Third time to charm, maybe? It is. It is. Foxy completes this combo. Look, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth, right? You had a combo, you dropped it. Then he woke up, gave you a free chance. If you blow it the third time, yeah. you deserve, you deserve to, to get yeah. bopped. Rax pull is in play. Unnecessary, though. Here's the background bounce with the back three, and Theo going for the max and damage. He's going to get another interact. Oh, no, he actually isn't going to go for the unblockable. And that is going to do it. Yes, plus 10, I believe, I on those meter burn lasers. Now, you can't interrupt in between the gap. A fantastic back dash, getting out of the range of that string. A punish of Theo, a clash from Foxy, and now 
It's actually a cool Deadshot Mask, the first time I noticed this skull on it. As uh, Theo just tags it right, right in the chin. Not sure what Foxy was looking for in that situation, but now he's edging ever so close to death. Theo with the forward two pressure now. Uh-oh, and a change of pace and Theo immediate clash. Now Foxy has you. the meter lead here. Will he decide to take damage and make it hurt? I don't know if he would want to spend... Oh, wow, he does. He spends two and he's getting a 25% damage. Theo spends none. And there's the background. Interactable usage to the corner we go. And right in the same health situation and now. This is just Clutch about dead series. even. Right in the area where he wants to be. Theo dives in and Foxy whips the string. And that is that is it. Theo is going to 3-0 a Foxy Grandpa. Such an unfortunate series of events there. Foxy gets the situation he wants and just throws out the back one too. Maybe expecting a dash, looking for the hardest of reads. Theo did throw a lot of forward dash, forward he did, twos in he there did. when he wanted to be aggressive. And Foxy laid it all on the line there. Jump in attack, forward two, A frame. It's going to catch yeah. you. Easy conversion for, for Theo, and he advances on into the top four now. Yep, and even when Foxy had a, a few life leads, it was, like I said, Theo, <laughs> I didn't really know how he did it, but he was slowly taking damage away while even still trying to get in, and mm -hmm. it was the first time we saw Theo get a little impatient, yes. but even through all of that, he kind of he fixed his own mistake and was able to just close out the rounds. Yeah, Foxy found the sweet spot exactly where he had the game plan in his favor. However, a few crucial combo drops and some small slips here and there that allow Theo to get the movement necessary to get the game plan going right. back to the way he wanted to ended up being the decided result. Now, that sets up Dragon against Theo. Yep. But before that, we will head to the winner's, winners final, finals. Where it will be Sonic Fox against White Boy. Captain Cold? I, I don't know if Sonic would use Captain Cold against Scarecrow because especially White Boy Scarecrow, it can be so smothering. I don't know how Captain Cold does. I really don't. I, I couldn't tell you. Does, does anybody here know how Captain Cold does? Uh, well, I mean, Fox does. But also, I don't know if he's trying to hit White Boy with a little character unfamiliarity because we don't see a lot of Captain Colds. Um, you could imagine that Fox could also pull out a character like Red Hood, which he's used to great success. Um, I would think he would want to start with Cold, but I don't know. Yeah, White Boy trying to talk some slick game into Sonic Fox's ear right now. Sonic clearly not impressed as his head sits at about a 40-degree angle. Very confused. The weight of that furry hat doing so much to this young yeah, man's Sonic mental. Yeah, Sonic looks actually really just disinterested Yeah, right look now. at him. He turned his head to look up, and then it went right back into position. The weight of being a god look at too much. With the words. This it's is like, Listen, you idiot. I told you you're not supposed to lose. Speaking of great shaders, the tournament shaders. Make sure you grab these to support all the esports events and community events around the world. Not only are you going to get to support your favorite players, uh, but you also get some pretty sweet sh uh, gear shaders as well. Cyborg looks ridiculously godlike right He looks there. fabulous. All that gold. Fabulous. Okay, yeah. It works. All right, Sonic Fox's head has returned to neutral now. White Boy ever so ready. White Boy has been looking very good this event. Absolutely still riding the wave in Captain Cold. It is. Yeah, definitely a button check, but Sonic a little antsy there, rushing in with that gun swipe, and White Boy wants to give him a command grab right back at it. Mind games in the button check, as we just saw a hint of something. Uh, I'm just going to let the people know. All right, so there's a glitch with Scarecrow. Oh, that is right. When his trade is active, when Captain Cold Ice Puddle is on the ground, the EX version, if Scarecrow the does the ground run. fear blast into Am the I ice puddle, he gets an instant full traumatized Honestly, bar. Yeah, like What's up? Two in a single trait, which is kind of crazy. Well, what else is kind of crazy is the hitbox on Captain Cold down two, denying that all is entry actually from crazy, the air. Yeah. And Sonic Fox going to drop the combo for the sake of getting to level two. He's going to have faith in his defense. All he needs is one hit and an opening, but White Boy the same. 
spins a bar four, bar Sonic Fox push blocking after that plus six. And here it is, the plus the level two snow cone and white boy able to yeah. evade. He's still kind of in it, but he's backing off now. And he is gonna be able Trades to charge up here. Yep. And looking for the glitch, but just outside of the range. Misses his opportunity. That cold, that, that ice cold looks so cool on this oh, stage specifically. With White all boy's in big trouble right yeah. now. And Sonic, just like that, in the midst of standing in the slow go, loads up another one. Oh, nice teleport, but right back into a dolphin dive. Oh, that's so cute. You took so much time, your combo didn't even connect. And White Boy looking to kill himself yeah. in this situation. <laughs> yeah. Sonic Fox with the air to air jump kick. Not bad. And again, he's going to be able to charge here. Backs up, and now he's on the other side of it as he's just trying to teleport desperately. All right, has a full active traumatized. Now that meter training, that full screen ground pound leading to a crumple at White Boy's disposal. Uses it. Nice block from Sonic, and here comes the Snow Globe. White Boy trying his best to escape. Easy chase down on the back dash from Sonic Fox, and White Boy is forced to clash. Wow, this is not exactly actually how I expected this matchup to go down, and I forgot about that glitch completely. Well, here's the trade from White Boy looking for it, going for the forward three instead. That is actually very punishable. Yeah, trying to get baited out. The freeze. He is gonna use the icicle for this. Ooh, but the fear gas. Yes, just enough to stay alive. He was facing a massive setup there. And the four three white boy will take exactly what he can get. Those long range normals of Scarecrow. The wake nice up block, and this is gonna spell a lot of trouble for white boy. Oh, and what a read. Dives right back into a cold death as Sonic Fox goes up now. Scarecrow. Captain Cold. Fighters approaching Red Sun. And Sonic Prince. doing the classic of laughing and smiling at his opponent's while he's beating them. I don't approve of this. Yeah, they just had a little conversation. I don't know what they were talking about. But yes, you are right. Sonic Fox is up now 1-0 against White Boy. Gonna take this time to charge. Combo's gonna fall. And again, these gadget characters loving the interactables and injustice oh too. Goodness. Those unblockable bombs seemingly everywhere. This is gonna be a punish. Sonic not able to keep him within the snow globe, but White Boy in trouble. And actually, that was not a lot of damage that Sonic got off of that snow globe, but now he has to fully charge it yet again. Keeps himself safe. Here's the trait activation, the Ooh. four three from White Boy back to back. And three bombs, three successful unblockable hits for Captain Cold, and the bulk that of that two life is bar. So ridiculously fast. Yeah, when you lose like over half of your life to interactables. Oh! Fox was trying to run away from his problems. Doctor Crane said, "No, thank you." The session is going to stay. And wow, great escape from White Boy. That jump, sickle. As the trade is activated, looking for the forward three punish. Sonic Fox charging his gun at will. And this is so hard. Meter burn rolls oh, out. Oh, but he gets out. The smart stuff from White Boy. Using a bit of his resources, but jumps into it a little too preemptively. Dolphin dive yet again right into that puddle. And Sonic Fox so smart, backdashing and pulling the screen in his direction so White Boy could not escape. That snow globe, two games to zero. Can he find the answers? Scarecrow. I don't Captain know. Cold. Fighters approaching Again, slaughter swamp. Fox is making Cold look like such an oppressive and an overpowered character. I heard when, his character sucked. Dude, this is this is the crazy thing, right? Four four weeks ago, you and I would not even be having this conversation because no one would be playing the character. Or if the character was on screen, we would think it was a joke. Nothing funny about this level two snow globe. No, Sonic isn't. Fox lets it rock. Now White Boy fighting his way out, but that command grab not going to connect. Sonic Fox in hit stun from the down one. Runs back into his home. And great meter burn back three. Stopping Sonic's approach now. Two bars on this restand. Hold this fear that toxin in your face. Damage. 558. More plus frame. Sonic Fox waiting it out. Great anti-air again. That down two. Such utility. 
great punish there on that Ice Puddle White Boy. Biding his time now. He is the one in control. Yes. That damage over time from the Scarecrow trait and doesn't mean a thing if you can't make an approach. The Snow Globe, also known as the Stop Signs of Life. White Boy not able to advance within 10 feet of Sonic in the past 20 seconds. Yeah, this is actually looking, it was looking good at first for White Boy, but he does get a forward three. Again, setting up. All right, White Boy trades up once more closer, but again, here comes the exit strategy. That snow globe breaking off all of the space in between these two competitors, and here it is. Sonic just simply charging it up and looping this. What is White Boy going yeah, to do? What can he actually do in this situation? Somebody he can't really go in because he's not going to get there fast enough. There's the trait. Here's the level two as White Boy makes his approach, and now he may have pulled the screen a little too far. Traumatized his block successfully. Dolphin dives he into tries it. it and he gets in. And with the desperation string, it works, and now White Boy is in there. He's going to get the completion of the combo, stretching those legs out. Take him to the Gotham Gym, stretching cold out as well. In the corner, pressure and escape in between the gap is Sonic Fox. Right back to a snowy death. Yes. Nice. Blocks for my boy. He does manage to find himself out of the corner and out of that dangerous situation, but and still. So smart from White Boy to push block into the meter burn roll. Trait is active. What will he do? Looks for the forward three this time. Sonic Fox charging it up at level two again. There's the forward three trade. White Boy is going to actually try to advance forward. It's, it's, it's so hard to watch because White Boy is trying so desperately to get in, but he's not able to. With three bars available, he is going to win the clash. But he still has to deal with this character. And the trade is up. Sonic Fox losing, losing his health. Oh no, Traumatize is active. Here comes the mix ups. Wake up now. Good block. Jumps in. Here's the chain looking for Chip in any situation. A oh, and there it is the double projectile. Meter burn gunshot. And Leonard. Good old Leonard. Sonic Fox has just made it into grand finals with Captain with Cold. Captain Cold. Yeah, uh, he hasn't. Ah, uh, man, that is. <sighs> he hasn't lost a game with Cold the entire tournament. No, he hasn't. This is kind he hasn't of a, dropped a single game. It's a perfect. Just he has. Wait, a, wait, wait. He has a P on the tournament Doesn't right that now. That character suck. Well, I mean, that's what I heard. <laughs> that character, <laughs> excuse me, looks ridiculous. Don't die, please. Oh, we man. need you. So that sets up your grand finals. Your first member to walk into there and the winner side is going to be none other than Echo Fox, Sonic Fox, as we now check down to the lower part of the bracket. Who is going to join him up there in the top two? Before we get to decide that match, we still have to go through Dragon and Theo. The That's winner correct. is going to play White Boy, so this is the fourth place match. I'm just thinking about Cold. He has my mind kind of... Everywhere <laughs> suspended, like what, man? He, he has level two trait, my train of thought, and he constantly loops it. What a fantastic tool! You know, you get it out. Your opponent's full screen. He's afraid to approach because not only is he losing life within the globe. Over time, he will get frozen if he stays long enough. So what do you do? Charge it again. <laughs> what? It's, like, it's no, genius. Literally, it's as a train genius out, strategy. It's, it, it's literally like cold looking at it. like, come at me. Like, what are you going to do? Literally, what are you going to do to me right now? And Theo with that smirk on his face. He knows something Black we out. don't. That or he's Superman. just really enjoying himself. Again, for, for a lot... Uh, for everyone watching out there, these North American guys, for I want to say most of them, if not all of them, this is their first time leaving the country. Yes. This is their first time in a foreign country, and it's for, in, it's for injustice. It's for a game. And I think that's great. So just to be over here and have this experience, to be able to play not only the people that they play all the time in the top eights, but also to play Europeans and experience the culture over here, I got to say, I absolutely love it over here in Vienna. The food is great. The people are great. The beer is great. The the architecture, the landscape, everything here is great. I agree. 
Oh, you're going to see a lot of patience in this one as Dragon throws the oh, TVs. Man. There I just realized what I'm getting myself into. Looking for the shimmy there is Theo. Maybe Dragon challenges with the down one, walking just out of the range, trying to bait Dragon into fighting back as Black Adam, clearly not a fan of music, tosses the jukebox. I'm not sure was um, playing in the streets of Metropolis, but they don't listen to it in Kanta. No, they don't. When dive kicks are playing everywhere, no matter where Black Adam is, doesn't quite get the combo conversion as the bounce Ooh. was a little weird, but Dragon's gonna spin the bar meter here on that Black Magic, which has less combo scaling after the fact. 383 damage, still extremely yeah, so healthy. And in a pixel situation, Black Adam trades the win button. He is one of the best. But we're seeing Dragon clip Theo after that forward one two three breath with a forward one two of his own, and that was a problem actually in the first injustice that Black Adam couldn't deal with. And great cancel there, forward one into the tray. Theo looking to block the rest of it. Gets opened up for the throw with punish with the down one into the lightning hands. Great blocks from Theo, but again even better blocks from Dragon. Nice back dash. Still gonna have to block that standing three though, or not standing three. Excuse me, you the can't. three of four That's two three. Famous last one. And backdashing so that he doesn't take the 4-2. A and nice armor back three. Yeah. Gonna get very good damage here off of trade over 400. Add additional chip in there and the nice reaction from Dragon waiting for the air escape. Now Theo trying to figure it out desperately. Nothing going. And I mean nothing. Nothing is going. All yeah. chip damage. 4-2-3 breath loops. Dragon not in a rush to end this match at all. Build some meter here on the defensive side. Another throw from Theo, but again, it's going to need 20 more of those. Oh, wait a second. Dragon thought he was home free with that trait, but Theo did get the damage. Now that trait will be active here after this sequence. Trade is back. Here it is, the activation. Theo trying to stay out of the range with the meter burn roll. Oh, and he lands and right on it. What are you going to do? Pray, KP. Pray that you get to hit. Begin. All right, game two. Dragon starts with the jump in now. Theo challenging the plus frames. Easy hit confirm here. Four, three. Jump kick, dive kick. To the ground you go. That spark of lightning coming from the gods above. He looks so majestic after forward one, two uh, grab. Like he just, he just lays it out. Yeah. Big chunk of chip there from the heat zap. It's going to need more than that. Take a risk trying to toss Steve around. And Black Adam is clearly friends of Steve, punishing Theo for his actions. There's the trait. Oh, one globe remains. Just trying to dash in at this point, looking for any. Yeah, and Dragon, I mean, he doesn't care. Whatever. If the globe will run out, he'll get in. Looking dash for forward and 4 2 3. Still working with the first life, or Theo. Double grab. I like that he's now incorporating these grabs because that's gonna that's gonna open up a lot of mix-ups later. If we can condition Dragon in that way. Yeah, and Dragon clearly okay with giving up the grab, not looking to tech on a read, and maybe he's a little late on the reactions, but at that point you can wait for the trait to come back, simply wake up with it and get the kill. Also want a back three because that would trigger a stage transition here. And this is enough for Chip. No, oh, Dragon no. knows. And goes for the dive kick immediately. Theo ready with the defense. Quick punish now into the corner. Dragon trying to force his way out with that forward one. Trade is active. Theo backs off. I mean, this is this is where generally Theo wants his opponent, but Dragon has been just such a puzzle to open up for Theo that. I don't think it matters as much that he has him in the corner. Yeah, well, you saw right there in that sequence, he put together one of the pieces with that shimmy on the down one into the forward two, forcing Dragon to clash now. And another call out on the re Theo pressing the right buttons at the right time. Dragon with the answer. Such defense coming from both of these nice guys. Nice block and a beautiful punish. You're an opportunist. Yeah, this we're looking at a situation where Dragon was in super for death. Both guys spinning the extreme four bars. 
full amount of meter. He's gonna rely on things the old-fashioned way until wow, one of them builds him. Grab from Dragon, yeah, you're right. Good, good blocks. Theo has some of the most experience against Black Adam, I think, over anyone in the world, and that's two. That spans two games. But even still, Dragon is actually kind of making it look not easy, but pretty convincing. Forward two, three, trait. Uh, nice breath, air to air. Me. And does he have enough left in the tank to kill? He will not trade up just yet. Now he does. Any chip situations? And a clutch tech from Dragon and Down the dash two. up anti -air. And that is going to do it. Wow. He actually had the shimmy. Dragon went for the grab, and Theo did not capitalize on the punish in time. Yeah, excellent call out. Dragon dashing forward and simply reacting. Seeing that Theo went for the jump back, and Black Adam underrated down to win this game. That quick punch that has such a massive his, his hit region. His actually really good. And back right at you, Shimmy. This time, Theo in prime position. The wake up button from Dragon get punished by a perfect media attack right on point. And a neutral jump straight into it. A different type of read. Pushing buttons didn't work. How about a jump? Ooh, and that was an attempt to potentially cross him up in the corner. It didn't work as now Dragon finds himself with a 4-2 in his face. And a life bar gone with Theo. The first real lead he's had in the set. Drops the combo, Dragon wakes up, down one into the trait, continues the pressure, but Theo blocks it all, chip damage at this time, Dragon's gonna challenge the trait cancel. Nice, he's gonna confirm and that, oh, never mind. He may have had something else in mind there, whatever the situation was, he wasn't able to complete the combo and now Theo just gaining more mileage from this life bar, Dragon in big time trouble. Right in your place. Clash comes out. One bar per player, they're both gonna spend. And again, that black magic, not enough. Theo, chip, damage now, everything adding up. There's the trait, looking to gain a hit, and Dragon staying solid. However, down to only a little over 300 health points. <laughs> Theo just desperately trying to get these down ones. Looking to take the throw as Dragon, but yeah. Theo was just out of range. Jumping around the skies now, punish on that whiff like magic, and Theo chip damage away from victory here in this game three, trying to stay alive. There's nice a dive jump. kick. And that is going to do it. So Theo finding himself a game here. It is now two to one. This is inside the head of Dragon right now. Oh, wait, I don't know. I can't. He's the Evo champion. Rip. He is. That is true. And Sonic Fox, the teammate of Theo, coming to give some advice. Hey, Dragon, just keep playing well. This is your God just speaking. You're a God. <laughs> You're a God. Big God. I wish, dude, I wish my conscience would tell me I'm a God. Try and rush your way to victory. You've got this. Strange thoughts, the mind of Dragon's voice yeah. being He's got a very pumped through with my audio. I'm not sure what that was. He's got a very interesting and conscious there. Kind of weird, honestly. As we start game three, Dragon on the losing end so far. Patience. There you nice. go. Wait Beautiful for confirm off of that down two. Yeah, Theo was looking for the anti-air in the first place, so tried to bait it out, and then Dragon simply waited on it. But man, a raw back three to start oh, off a trait combo. And right back at you, screams Dragon. Will this be enough to kill? It is not. However, the chip damage? No. Theo back in control, trying to take the life bar down at the same time. And a bait on the throw. This time, Dragon takes it and eats the laser to the face. No trait for you, sir. Yeah, man, and that is going to be Theo sticking with a little bit of life he still has left in the first life bar, making all this damage essentially free. Doesn't right. have to worry about paying for his paying with his life because that was his life. It's yeah, a great a chase down there. Dragon saw that Theo back there is trying to escape this certain death, and he says, no, sir, I am coming with these orbs, and you are going to hold these. 
Nice whip punish. Beautiful backdash from Theo. I'm Conduct's king. Ooh. Not anymore. Ooh. Okay, so clearly Superman is going to dethrone this once king of Conduct. Nice back to him. Trade. Good down one challenge. Chasing down the backdash, but that was a huge mistake. Dash up now, Theo getting hyper aggressive even towards the corner now. Shimmy trying to force Dragon into a mistake, keeping it safe now. Trade is active. Theo with blocks still on the offensive. And, and rolling out is not even going to help him here as he uh, was in the corner. And we are in the situation once again. For Someone another reverse 3 0. Very interesting. That time, Dragon doesn't go into deep contemplation or consult with his own brain rematches immediately now two to two the aggression is up both trades trying to bait out a throw attempt and theo is going to get the first full combo here and gets the meter on the activation oh, wow. of that breath such a great system that yeah, meter burn yeah. is able to see a move and then confirm it by pressing the meter burn after fantastic I actually design. really like that i think over the mk system uh for mkx but i mean that's just cool. That's also because I'm a bad, I'm old, so my reactions are terrible. Good damage here, but it was a mauling of in the beginning for Theo as he chips him out, and he did that. That was very smart. And now Theo is in control on the cusp of completing the reverse 3 0. There's the whiff black magic dragon. Somehow able to escape back down one, checks him into the throw. The pound on the black Adam's chest, looking for the same mix up. However, dragon ready with the blocks. And Theo just blocking that entire sequence of pressure, but not the raw jump in. This should be enough to kill Dragon with the completion, and it is going down to the last life bar. Two games to two. Theo's back to the wall, but more meter in his possession. Oof, what a trade. And trade's definitely not in Dragon's favor in this situation. Those huge chunks of life coming from the lasers, but on the startup is Dragon with that meter burn dive kick into the corner. We go one sequence away from oppression. Dragon with the plush frames, keeping this sequence going. Nice meter burn back three and another one. Look at all that damage. So smart with Theo. Too early on the tech. Oh, the forward one gets him right under. And Theo was unable to clash here with such a huge meter deficit. Dragon in control. Too early with the dive kick once again. Dashes up. Looks for the string and the super. Oh, no, he, he can air look? dash. He can. And a block still. Still survives. Here comes the trade. The down one. And the throw from Dragon. The final chance. Under one HP left. What is going to be the call? The down, down two. two. And a clash. This is unreal. These guys have no meter. It's going to reset and neutral. Anything is going to do it. Superman is trade is active. Chases. Oh, oh my and the down two again. Somehow, some way, the down two hits before Theo comes down with his jump two. An unbelievable clutch. And I don't Dragon even know did what to that call with it. 0.46 HP Stop left. it. This young man. It was the voice in his head. I he promise had you. less than one HP. I promise you, was the voice in his head on everything. Look at this replay. Look, look at this. Look, look at this hit detection. Look at this black Adam down two. What's up? Ooh, wait. Can we can we get a freeze frame of that picture right there? Look at that. That is amazing. Oh man, I just wanna. Oh. So devastating. Look at that. So it's close. Like, it's like the hands of God. That pixel. Unreal. And that explosion is the Black Adam down two hitbox connecting, not the Superman one. So a little more range. Dragon. Damn. Just that much quicker to the draw. Young man reactions. <laughs> it's the only way to cut it. Would you press the attack before him? No way. Me? No way. Dude, that was... The ending of that match was actually insane. Yeah, he definitely has to go to Twitter and, and tweet about that for sure. He's like, yo, I'm so sick. L look at his hands. They're shaking. He yeah, can't no, his even type. Damn. I need to check and see if there are some typos in there because he will be forgiven for that one. Dude, his hands are actually shaking like crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you. I see you, young <laughs> man. As Dragon gives the hands to the crowd, getting them ready. 
White Boy, however, has nothing to do with that. He does not care. White Boy's like, check these hands out, dog. White Boy's like, yo, what's We got a loser's finals match to play. Let's go. It has to be like one of the most impactful wind screeds ever is just sitting there. Like, do you know what just happened? The power of a god. Shazam, what's good? I'm, that, that whole ending, that whole sequence still blows my mind. Theo was so close. He was, he was right there. He was so close. He made all the right plays. The push block was good. And he, he, he even... He air dashed the the uh, the Black super. The super. I'm sorry. I'm on lost words. He air dashed the super. Black I honestly thought the laser was actually going to kill. Like it was a very well well timed air dash. He immediately yeah, lasered as soon as the Black animation was over. But first, Dragon was still able to block. And then Dragon came in with a jump in. It was a very smart idea to push block. I actually really thought that was great play. But then he just found Begin. some way to get the last hit with point forty six life left. Literally that under was, one he, HP. He had less than one life, yeah. Does anything in the game even chip less for that? I don't I don't know. And it wasn't maybe the thing is, though, is I want to point this out, it was it was not a choke from no, Theo. That was all. not a choke. It was clutch. That was just a crazy set of circumstances that happened and Dragon was able to come out on top. That was that's the closest finish I've ever seen to a game. I think period. Ever. Just ever. This is what you get when you tune into the Injustice Pro Series, these premier events, Man, every tournament, left and right. These guys laying their absolute heart on the line. But I will say this, so that's actually congratulations to Theo. He yes. is going to get fourth place here at Viennati. He's going to get points. He's going to get some, some sweet dough. And uh, he played very well all weekend. Dragon was just, like I said, able to come out Begin. just barely on top. All right, well, here we go. Losers finals. White boy against Dragon in the run back. And denial of exit, sir. You will stay in this corner and love it as Dragon defies authority with that EX dive kick saying, no, white boy, I will move as I please. Oh, nice. Tries to go for hey, the wake up. Hey, hey, stretch and stretch and pull and, and, pull. and one and two. <laughs> we need the command <laughs> grab to finish it off. It's all good, but this time a punish on the regular. No meter burn and Dragon with the awareness to know White Boy was trying to get away with a little dirt there. Plus frames. And wow, look at all of this. Still working with that life bar as Dragon. What a fantastic He is sequence. the king of the small pixels here. And right back at you is Scarecrow, the secondary king of it, that big sickle covering the vertical space in front of him as Dragon tries to dive kick his way in. Oh, look at that. Just kind of walks up, pokes, backs off. Yeah, and the push block, White Boy, enforcing his will. Dragon's had enough, however. Doesn't want to deal with it. Armor's through. Oh, it actually go just goes right over him. Is that a nice block on the ambiguous neutral jump, too? Down. Still gets tagged by Low Lightning. And it's all picking up now. Scarecrow trying to figure it out. White Boy sitting on full meter. And looking for any opening. There it is. Jump three into the command grab. Dolphin dive. Push blocks immediately. Dragon's like, forget Smart. your plus frames. Smart push block by Dragon. And oh, and a, a last second clash. Absolutely. Three bars for White Boy, Three one for time. Dragon. And you knew exactly what White Boy was doing there. A wake up forward dash when someone's in your face, you're trying to force them to hit to you hit in a combo you, yeah. sequence to get for the clash. Luckily, in his favor, Dragon gifted it to and him. that was a beautiful sequence. And right on the other end of it, White Boy denying Dragon with the clash, not comboing with the attention of getting that command grab. Stretch it, baby. You got to stretch it. Welcome to the Gotham Gym. <laughs> so 1-0 for White Boy. Do you remember who sent uh, Dragon to the loser's bracket? White Boy. <laughs> It's, it's starting that way now, but I never count Dragon All out. Right. If there's one thing I've learned. You know, not only do we have a gym in Gotham, we play marbles down in Atlanta's Black Adam. Not the greatest sport as he keeps the first unblockable, but avoids the second one. Dolphin dies back in. Here's he the loop. chase the backdash there. Gets the jump in too, and again, that 
conversion into the raw command grab. You're looking to block a scarecrow, has good damage, an amazing corner carry. Caught in a loop, the mind game so efficient from White Boy right now. And that is, wow, what a dominant life lead. Great anti-air. You made note of that forward one earlier. It's really good, man. For an anti-air, it's it's one of the best normal buttons, besides just like general down twos. And every time that dragon oh, takes and it, he just gets errantly hit. If you notice, every time dragon takes it to the air, so does White Boy. In yeah. all reaction, he will do his jumping attacks. And that's the thing that makes this matchup so daunting for Black Adam, right? Is the fact that. He, whenever he jumps, the, the, the normals that are available to Scarecrow in the air are just better than... Well, not necessarily better, they just have better range. Absolutely. And the boost dump in the chest plant right now is Dragon. Yeah, that was nice. Who has shown being down any amount of games or any amount of life has no bearing on his playstyle or his ability to win. It's gonna get the clash. I'm immune. Yeah, and also another thing to note about wh what I just said about the uh, normals being longer reaching, Dive Kick has no priority, and it'll trade or even get beat out by most air normals. Teleports in. Dragon is slowly killing himself with that fear toxin that's surrounding it. He has to back off. Trying to find his way out there in that chain. Is two to zero. Clipping the cape as White Boy jumps over. And there we go. The last time we saw Dragon in this mode where he was thinking he pulled the reverse 3 off. Now, maybe it's in the character. Maybe it's in his gameplay. No matter the combination, the start is here. Aquaman. Scarecrow. And Dragon is approaching uh, you know, he didn't really. I feel like he didn't really get any time to recover from that match with Theo either because Theo pushed him to the absolute limit. And now he, he is down again two yeah. games. Well, recovery or not, that voice in his ear has told him to return to Atlantis. Picking Aquaman here is going to be locked in for the next potential three games. But White Boy on the offensive beats him with the air-to-air. -air and Dragon trying to slow it down. Yeah, but I mean, the last time we did see White Boy go up against an Aquaman, it did not fare well for that Aquaman. All right, the big gator slap. He currently has no fear as he's just a dead animal hanging in the background. Trident rush and great reaction from Dragon there. The meter burn back three to match White Boy's spike into the corner. 430 damage and Aquaman still here, in there. Here to ruin your day. Yeah. Oh, wait a second. Full screen now, walking back and forth. Has a threat of the tentacle strike. So White Boy doesn't kind of move freely around the stage like he once he did. But once he has gotten in, the wake up Trident Rush denied twice nice. now. That is really actually hard to stuff. So Trident Rush is not an invincible wake up, but it, it has a very tight timing in which you can stuff it. And that's the first time all weekend we've actually seen it. Another thing Trident Rush does amazingly is break armor. So many hits so fast as White Boy try to meet a burn back three there. Dragon with the denial. With the Trident Rush now, chip damage. Territory. White boy looking for plus frames. Spends all of his meter. Oh, this is so close. And that is gonna be a small punish. Plus, push blocks away Has and the raw forward three. He's a punish. Wait, no, he misses it. And challenges back. Here's the try to rush. He doesn't build the beat in time. Back dash. And what a reaching normal in the air. That is gonna do it. White boy double eliminates the evo champion Completes from finality 2017 the back to back 3-0 right there dragon fear everywhere great read great reaction uses the right normal and we have set up the grand finals of finality it will be sonic fox against white, white boy. boy congratulations though are in order for dragon for not only an incredible comeback against theo but also making it to third place in the top three, getting points, getting some money. Absolutely. It's and proving that he is not a, a fluke. I don't know if anyone even thought of him as one, but he still had another consistent performance here at Viennale just after winning Evo. Yeah, listen, for anybody with those stupid type of opinions, let's take Damn, the you top. Were, you were so honest. Listen, man, it is what it is. Can you give me the three winners of the premieres in Evo? Combo Breaker. Color Breaker, Sonic, Sonic Fox, Fox, CEO, White, White Boy, Boy, Evo, 
What's the, what's the top three of this tournament? Oh, okay. So we'll just uh, leave that right there, and people think that try to rush your way to victory or you just win by some random luck. Get over yourselves. These men are godlike players, and they use the characters to the best of their abilities. I mean, my, my, I don't, my, not my argument, but the thing that I have to kind of say on that is everyone is capable of picking the same characters that Dragon or Sonic Fox Begin. or Theo or any of these guys pick, right? But there's a reason that they're more successful than those people is because they're, they're just also very naturally talented. So that's the only thing I can say about that. But right. now we're heading into the grand finale. It's been an amazing this weekend. Sonic Fox is repeatedly doing scoops. I don't know how I feel about this. It's okay, there, that, the fastest teabag in the, in, the floating in, bags. in the West, <laughs> for sure. How does he do that so fast? Uh, so you hold forward and then you, you uh, mash the hell out of down. So like the, the, the because you're holding forward, it, it... No, yeah, I know how that works, but how does he mash down so fast? It's oh, that I don't know. Deep. Look, White Boy's not there, so he's just teabagging, like... Is he teabagging himself on the pad? Let's not get into that. Um, White Boy is currently, I guess, trying I think he went to the restroom. Get a little bri Oh, are the nerves getting yeah. in? I think White Boy asked for uh, like a, a few minutes, which is legal. He can do that. Yeah, because we're going to be locked in for the next set here. Captain Cold again. As we saw Sonic Fox take it to Scarecrow 3-0 here in this tournament, which is supported by you, the fans. Purchase the tournament shaders to support the esports events communities as well. NRS has a plan. This is not... And they want you involved. Yeah, this is not a one-and-done thing. They plan to stick around for the long haul, and here we are getting the extended support. And just as, you know, Pro Series, we haven't had any structure like this since ESL and MKX. That's and true. Who knows? And this is season one. Who, yeah, who knows that's true. what's this to come? Is, this is still season one. Like you said, we're, we're still in the first uh, uh, DLC pack with, you know, Sub-Zero and Red Hood and Starfire. We still have two more on the way. Yeah. There's way more characters still on the way. I can only imagine they're going to add cool gear or cool shaders that you can get to still support the community. Yeah, Netherrealm is not done with this game in the slightest. And their support, as well as Warner Brothers' support for our team, has been nothing short of amazing. That's true. They should definitely buff Wonder Woman. I agree. So <laughs> yeah, right into yeah, the yeah, Joker's playground. Did they buff Firestorm too then <laughs> while they're at it? Uh-huh. We were talking about NRS and their support in the tournament's world. I'm not sure what the Firestorm had to do with any of this. I actually can't do it. All right, well, the level two trade is out. Wasn't sure if that was a button check or not. These guys actually going crazy. And the denial on the escape from the interactable is White Boy. And Cold putting up that wall does not want Scarecrow in his space. So the one thing I would say right now, White Boy is doing a really good job of, of getting in on Sonic Fox. But all goals for the four and three. Yes. Yeah. And the side switch. And he's actually just going to go for the kill. He's not going to go to charge his trait. But what I was going to say is, what exactly can can White Boy do with this matchup? Because last time, Fox made it look hopeless. All right, now into the corner, exactly where you don't want to be. Keeps it ambiguous with the massive hitbox on that wake up fear gas. Charging every little second that he can while backing up. He's going to get caught. Not the biggest of punishes there. And now setting up the puddle so that he can do the charging of his straight. He's going to get it out. And there it is. This is exactly where we saw trouble for White Boy. He was able to almost do nothing in the last set as he teleports in. And there's another snow globe ready. And great teleport there from White Boy. He would have had his back to the Ooh. wall as he dunks Sonic Fox with that big sickle forward three. Unfortunately, he dashes right into an unblockable but one and two and three. Oh, no. Trip slightly on the yoga pad. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of tight. Captain Code has not renewed his membership Here at the Gotham Gym. So, Scarecrow refused to teach him. That's all that happened. It wasn't a drop combo in the slightest. Ooh, Jen, he's trying to charge. And I will say, the adaptations here made by White Boy are pretty solid. He's using whatever long-range normals he can, but this is really bad. And again, Sonic Fox able to recharge it directly to level 2. This is the wall that he put up in the last set, and White Boy teleports into the corner out of des desperation. And that down 2 is going to catch. Yeah, absolutely. 
And look at all of this damage, almost about to kill. Nice block, and that's the punish. Yeah, great juggle there. Opportunity from Sonic Fox. That extended slowdown from the globe, allowing him to get multiple walls in that combo of the meterless variety. And Sonic Fox goes up the first game here in Grand Finals. <laughs> that two is so ridiculous, man. Plus frames now, Sonic Fox calling out the command grab with the neutral jump punch. White Boy trading in between that six frame down one. Only negative two from Scarecrow. So much mileage can go into the command grab for it, into the sickle, into another one. So many mind games from a poke and White Boy being the most effective, clearly. Yep, but here comes the frozen land. Oh, and that was so slick. Straights up. There it is. Full traumatized. And looking for the landing punish. Unfortunately, can't find it. Will we get a traumatized? We do. We do. Keep some grounded for the plus frame. Sonic Fox caught. Disrespecting. Very nice and from White Boy. Taking advantage. And the wake up wall. Here's. Yeah, White Boy says, I can go around the back. That's okay with me. And not this time. Sonic well, puts it right on his yeah. dome. There's the level two block hit stun right into it. No juggle there. Nice backdash. Still One stubborn. Two, White Boy is trying to get in there. Yeah. Stretch. Taking his time. Blocks the ice puddle. And one. Captain just Cold is a terrible student, man. He just doesn't want to learn how to participate in the exercises. Sonic Fox clashes. He's stiff because he's a cold man. You know? Okay. I'm saying, like, usually, like, you're rigid when you're really cold. You know what? And the jump in with Punish now. White Boy on the defensive has the clash himself. Now this is going to reset. Sonic Fox's trade hasn't been able to charge after that last successful snow globe. He's going to be back yeah, to the this wall. Is, this is a good situation here for White Boy. He can make, he can really make something happen here. Oh, oh. and that, oh. And the push block now gets the snow globe out and the down two. Oh, and this could be trouble for White Boy. Oh, a beautiful with Punish. And push, push block again. Down the, two, you nah. can't jump. And can he kill from this juggle? Here's a death sickle. Double overheads and white boy challenge and get the plus he frames. Gets it. And successfully gets that game without the choke. Smile. And he knows what time it is. One game to one. However, I think white it's boy. actually the first game he's taken against Sonic Fox, though, in this tournament. Great backdash, but again, White Boy with the perfect normal jumping in. This is going to be a full combo punish. And this time, no meter burn on the sickle swing. I gotta say, the adaptations that are being made here for White Boy, using a lot more forward threes hey. and using whatever he can to get in on Sonic Fox is very impressive. Absolutely, waking up with that wall. The down two trying to deny Sonic if he was looking for a jump. And now we are in chip territory. The dash up. Captain Cole cannot take this damage over time. Wow. One and, and two and three right back and four in there. And five. And back to the business, this man doesn't want to work out. He just wants to sit in his cold. The heat a little bit too much, disrespecting the Florida boy is snart. Doesn't like our climate or the weather, but instead, to the corner we go. Sonic Fox not blocking. Oh, never mind. This is the traumatized Link, but white boy, ultimate pressure right now. What side did that and hit that on? That is going to do it. Wow, two to one. So quickly. Yeah, White Boy has adapted and a smile from Sonic Fox saying, all right, I see you. But this is definitely very serious. Now White Boy does have to reset the bracket and keep it going. The unblockable interactable. No with punish a little too far. Fear gas. Let's go as we march towards the corner. He is going to spend the time to charge. There is two. He's going to break the armor because of how slow he already was. Plus the snow globe. And drops the combo intentionally to recharge his gun. That level two. So much strategy involved here. And White Boy's going to have a hard time getting out of this one. And he is going to use the back. He's going to spend the 
meter to kill with the puddle. Yeah, when that snow globe of death is out on the screen, you panic so hard because you're going to die over time and or freeze. All Sonic has to do is simply react to your actions and punish you for a full combo anyway. Now plus frames, this is guaranteed chip damage. And Very just nice. like that, white boy, one health bar away from the reset. Oh, just runs right into it. And that was yeah, smart, white but also very disrespectful. Yeah, white yeah. boys falls for it. That sweet pushing Feeling Scarecrow's huge. hitbox a little too close. Granting Sonic a freeze as Captain Cold goes to recharge his gun once again. Nice, jumps over the unlockable. Oh, you wanted it Here so bad. I was willing to do it with you there, that too. sounds terrifying. Oh, um, wow, okay. Really unfortunate situation there. White boy trying to walk up and block it. However, getting frozen in a huge momentum shift here in this fourth game is now Sonic Fox's full screen with charge. Icicle death coming from both sides and chip damage galore. Oh, and that is unfortunate. He actually didn't get the dro he dropped the combo, gave Sonic an opportunity to get the hit he needed as we tie it up here two to two. This is now tournament point for Sonic Fox. White Boy, does he have anything left in the tank to push this to another set in game five? Sonic Fox with the first attempt at Devastation to the corner, spins the bar on the meter and actually continues the combo this time. Oh, and that is so dirty. Captain Cold is disgusting in the corner, and that's going to hit. Wow, and look at this, a flawless first life bar for young Sonic Fox. Level 2, active, one bar, meter 4 combo, and great denial of that interactable usage with that max range forward 3, white boy plus frames. And trying to stay in front is white boy, but he's in big time trouble. Evades the freeze somehow. Nice backdash, but even still... White Boy is going to get the hit, but this is still very rough for him. And a full combo now. Sonic Fox going to keep it unclashable. Wake up, Fear Blast. That entry denied. White Boy again trying to inch forward. Successfully does it this time. And there's the Death Sickle. No punish. And this is it. This is so very close. Is Sonic Fox going to win Vianality? All he needs is this, and that is it. He is your winner. Icy Death awaits Scarecrow, and the Toxin stops right before it can reach the Fox's Den as Captain Cold takes the first premiere after the latest balance patch. Yep, it is Sonic Fox, your 2017 Vianality Champion with Captain Cold. Unreal as we get Storm to the stage for the trophy ceremony, passing out the medals. We can get the entire top eight up front, fellas. Also, a huge shout-out, though, as we've been doing for the, the majority of this top 16 to White Boy. He got second place. He was able to even adapt and take two games off of Sonic Fox, which I think was the most threatened he felt all weekend. So White Boy once again proving that he is one of the best and that he is one of the scariest players around. Yeah, there's also a huge shift in points for the IPS yes, that is series true. as we pass it off to Storm, host and head TO of Vianality here in Austria. Guys, can I get the top eight on stage, please? What's up, man? We got other Vianality TOs in the building having fun as, as we get everyone collected up. Damn, what a crazy tournament this was, man. What a, what a great tournament this was. All right. Eyes on Storm. All right. It's been a very long day. I'm happy that everyone was here. I want to thank everyone in the name of Vianality that we had a great event. Also, obviously, shout out to the production. Also, thanks to Dustin and Kipi for doing a great job. Casting. And thank you to everyone who came out. So, um, yeah. Eighth place. All the way from Canada, Matthew Biohazard.
Same place goes to the people's champ. Yamini all the way from Israel. Yo, Yamini the god, what's up? That man needs to make a Twitter, like right now, so I can follow him. Fifth place to Forever King from the States. Fifth place as well to our European representative, Foxy Grandpa. Last year's Vinny Energy Champ. Fourth place, also from the States, goes to Seal. Third place with possibly the best match today, Dragon. Second place, as KP would say, Florida Boys. You already Western. know. Florida Boys! Uh, had to get that one in, you know. And the grand champion, your winner of VNL 2017, Sonic Fox. So again, from the bottom of my heart and in the name of the VNL team, thank you so much for being here. It's been an amazing weekend and I wish you all the best. See you next year. What? What an event. Thank you so much to Storm and all the production and all the TOs and everyone that was involved in Vianality 2017. Uh, man, we also want to give a massive, massive shout out to Warner Brothers, to Netherrealm, and to everyone that support this game and to all the people that came out to this event. And we have one more thing we want to say, and that is the high player of the night of the tournament. It's... It could be Yamini. It we wanted be. it to be Yamini, but but the real the reality is Sonic Fox taking everybody to that absolute limit with Captain Cold and all of his new stuff, just kind of breaking the barriers of what people are used to as a character. We'll give you this highlight montage from your Vianality 2K17 champion, Sonic Fox. Or not. No, are, are you going to no, dab no, no, next no, no, to no, no, me? No, no, no. I'm not going to dab next to you. I thought about it, and then I saw the eyes look at me. Um, so I, that's actually going to do it for us. I guess the montage yes, is Yes, we'll come after it. him. So thank you again, everybody, for watching. All of the countries in attendance, all the beautiful people I've met. We will see the rest of you all continuation next week at Versus Fighting in Birmingham as the IPS Tour comes up. Here's your champion, Sonic Fox. But that's enough of him. So for Godspeed, I am Katana Prime. Thank you, and good day in the rest of the world. Yep. See you next time.